Tell me, O oh muse, of the many heroes from many places who wandered the many ways of the sacked sacred city of Ardenvall. And hello, everybody, and welcome to the 108th expedition of the Ardenvall Garris campaign. It is the 28th of Masporios in game. Uh, who do we have playing today? Hey, I'm Casper. I'll have uh, Gavdos, Wizard, 6th rank. Katrazaj, Bard, 3rd rank. Sable, Fighter, 1st rank. Reporting for duty on uh, <laughs> Operation Frag the Hag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. I'm Ed. I'm playing Theodora, the level 2 uh, Muscle Wizard. Hello, I'm Lauren. I am playing Demora, the level three, level three, um, a fighter, and uh, no cohorts. I'm Meg. Um, I am playing Crow Feeder, level one fighter, goblin, and who's bringing along Foodmender, his goblin cohort. I'm Paul. I'm bringing along Chert, uh, level 3 Dwarven Fighter. And I'm Rory. I am playing Hastar, the level 5 Dwarven Priest, who has just sworn an oath that he will embody the spirit of Mitra as her avatar of the Defender in our battle against the Hag today, ensuring that no allies leave this realm in our defeat of the Hag. I just realized I wrote the Hag twice in there, so... All right. And uh, can Theodora make an oath to, uh, to Hastar as well? Um, she would like to oath that she's going to send Ambrosia to Haggadah Caves straight to hell. Personally? Personally. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you're you're going to hear my mighty, majestic, powerful oath and then be like, yeah, I'll kill her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my sec that's my second oath as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Certainly big enough. Yeah. Trying to get the killing blow against a horde of beastmen. Good luck. Well, you're not getting a horde, you're just getting a squat the the you yeah. know the elite sealed, guard. Yeah. <laughs> the SEAL team six of the uh long range cavern patrol. Is it the same one that uh we kind of Came up near the hag with last time? Uh, no. This is a different group. Different group. Okay. Thank goodness. Speaking of the beastmen, before we set out, can I ask an intelligence clarification? Which yes. is, did we hear from the beastmen if they had any knowledge with regards to that um, tunnel, that, that room that we weren't sure? if had a tunnel open up into the hags, if they know what's in that room. Uh, just west of the vent traps and such. Mm, right, right, right. No, they don't have intel. Okay. Then in that case, do we want to have like two people just poke their heads in there and make sure that isn't either a route for them to flank us, or we can take the pincher approach? We could just go that way. I mean, it, it's very close on the map. Yeah. It's pretty okay. likely. But we just don't know for sure. Are we like all... On the map, it's about 20 foot away. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, are we... We're all in Gosterwick, and then we're going to, what, take the rug? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I have two crossbow bolts. Oh, can Theodora take one of those? Yes. <clears throat> she's going to use a she's going to use a plus one dagger to carve Ambrosia's name onto the shaft of each one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What do the crossbow bolts do? <laughs> uh, they act like an oil flask. Okay. So you roll. So they they basically are explosive. So when they hit, uh, then you roll the number of extra people who take d4 damage. Okay. Uh, correct. They're also uh, plus two bolts in and of themselves. Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, 
So, uh, okay. Uh, I mean, we can decide on the way, but would we rather go the beach or the room way? The beach, if we go the room way, we might avoid those uh, water trolls we saw last time. Killed a bunch of them. It's not many left. Okay. Trolls often regenerate. Um, we'll try it through the I thought she through the room. Okay. Okay, room. Just in case there's like, I don't know, something really super dangerous there, I don't want to get caught unawares. Good point. Okay, so I've bought a few healing potions. Anybody that doesn't have any, I strongly suggest that you buy some. What's and or maybe holy water. I have one holy water, two healing potions, a backup scroll of cure light wounds, a backup potion of protection from evil. How much does a, a healing potion cost, Casper? Sorry. 300, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, would anyone like to, out of charity, <laughs> Uh, give yeah. me one. We can I'll just go from I... the party funds. Yeah. Oh. So, I'll just take one out of the party for Megan, Theodore, Kofi, oh, thank you. Thank you. Everyone else has one? No, I'm going without. <clears throat> Astar will save me. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Gamora is being bold. Really putting a lot of faith in Mitra with my plus three to spell casting. Ah, uh, you still have a sixty percent chance of success. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, let's talk about going through the rug and uh, light sources and and such. Commander has a torch. That is his only job. Well, he also has a backup shield for me, but mostly torches. Okay. Nice. And uh, I think this is new for you, Meg, because it is relatively new for the game. Um, we've been doing things for tracking time, where now time passes for tracking torches. Uh, so if we say, like, we take time uh, picking open a lock rather than rolling, we just mark off the time of a torch uh, as far as, like, a ten, like, 10 minutes off of the torch timer. Um, if we go up a half a flight of stairs, um, then we'll just mark off half of a torch. Uh, as far as like a flight of stairs being like 100 feet of stairs is, you know, if 200 feet is a whole torch, 100 feet is half a torch. So, Carry more torches. Yeah, so f go for, feel free to stock up on more torches if you haven't already. I didn't want you to not be aware that we're playing with that a little bit. Okay. How do you feel about four? Uh, the as the party one by one um walks uh walks up through the prayer rug. Uh, you guys will you all will find yourselves in a about fifteen by twenty five room with a beautiful uh portrait of a excuse me uh older woman uh on the door that's locked. Yeah, Gavdos will step up, touch the portrait, fondly say the fairest one. Yeah. Sheds out a little tear. I know. Yeah, every time. But he hides Feel it with magic. <laughs> yeah. You're not sure if this was a result of the enchantment or uh, a message from beyond. Uh, I'll leave it up for your own interpretation. But when you do it, the door does... It it opens a little bit slower and nicer for than mm. everyone else's. It's a so mm. there's something cozy about the way the door opens when you touch when you it's touch nice. it. You okay. almost think it's smiling out of the yeah. corner of your eye. He's sensing you're approaching death and tries to resist <laughs> opening yeah. to let you out. All right, uh, as that door opens, you'll find yourselves into an airlock, a five foot by a ten foot corridor 
with no discernible exit. Doing the old familiar, saying, let thoth illuminate my ignorance. Yes. Uh, Very useful phrase that saved yeah. us from a fireballing yesterday, last yeah. time. Yep. As, uh, yep. As you barely even finish the words, the door will appear and open up. As the last uh, party member steps through, uh, the little highlighting part of the door and where it shuts back to the wall and disappears or uh, showing there is no door there at all or anything. Like airlock shutting. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Disengaged. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully, hopefully you all brought your EVA suits. Uh, cool. All right. You all, you all are in the halls of thought. What are you doing? I do actually have an amulet of adaptation, so yeah, yeah, I can actually breathe in a vacuum. Um, well, we meet in the basement. I guess we're going to go down meet the basement, right? And then, yeah, I think at that yeah. front door again is what we organize. Seems pretty reasonable. Okay. Uh, down we go. Yeah. Where is it again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we will mark off. Um, Mark off 30 minutes of the torch as we will get over to the, uh, to the beastman. Um, as you take this turn, uh, and look up into the great hall and stuff like that, it looks just like it has always, uh, rubble blocking the opening. Uh, it's quiet as the grave. Okay. We'll climb over. Mm hmm Gently rap on the door. Uh, cheap company guards will uh, let you through. Come in. Okay, and do they look like prepped up, mustard, ready to go? Uh, yeah. Well, they're not. You're not. You, you're not meeting them in the uh, the sheep company though. You're gonna go meet them over in the meeting room area on the yeah. far the far side. But like, we don't really have to map that or play that out. Mm. Yeah, who's sorry? Who who is the leader of this? Who's going to be with us? Who's like leading the squad? Sure. Uh, the leader is a goat-headed uh member named Shorak. Okay, cool. So so Theodora is like wearing her imperial field plate. Uh, so yeah. she wants to like get. She wants to give uh, Shorak's like a like some sort of a classic Spafari kind of salute, and uh, say something like uh, you know. Today's a good day to die, Shorax. We, yeah. we, uh, our, our deeds today are going to uh, resound uh, through the history of the Fur Tagmata. So I hope you hear that. Yeah, it is a good day to die, but you won't because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You keep us safe, Dwarf. We'll do the killing. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. this is actually may be notable on account of we're talking to Beastmen, and also it seems like you're a Bitharios. Uh, which is that Crowfeeder is also wearing uh, Legionnaire's armor and will certainly not know any of the, the signs that, like, any of the salutes or uh, <laughs> all that. Will, will not be able to repeat a single one. Uh, well. <laughs> Demora well. just kind of smirks and nods, being a Spathari of the six Scutari region, but. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh wait, we're, we're all Spathari here. Okay, cool. <laughs> half, yeah, apparently half yeah, the group is Spathari. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, all of us. <laughs> yeah. well, all of us equally. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sh yeah, Shorak will absolutely take your arm uh, in the Predator handshake style way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. It will be a privilege to work together with you, Vulgarians, to arrange the meetings of this hag. And then whatever devil will take them in their hells. You know, and <laughs> we're ready. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, so just to be clear, the LRCP, they're not wearing the standard um, imperial armor and stuff like that. They're wearing, like, mithril chain mail, like, camouflage, like the cave, you know. They got, like, the the cloak not cloaks of elven kind but like like you know they're they're rugged uh you know they're they're your they're your ranger types uh they're not your uh standard tech models one of them go by strider <laughs> yeah i'm 
<laughs> just to just to put it clear, yeah, that these guys uh will are used to going on long range uh stuff. So nice. okay. Extended deployments in country. But uh yeah, so short so it's Shorak. Uh, if if you if everyone if you need names, there's Shorak, there's Rocklaw, there's Laxlar, there's Pixis, and Rago. Pixis. Rago. I think we ate something like you oh last God. night. This is like uh No. Oh Laxlar, that's it. Camera company camera model names. Pixis and Laxlar. <laughs> cool. All right. So what's that? One, two, three, four. We got five. That's pretty good. A lot yeah. better than a slap in the face. All right. Um, so logistically, they will tell you that they think the hag is her lair is somewhere through the water. That that she must have some sort of cave or something like that, or some sort of hole. Um, in the from the water that she gets to and they're wondering how you how you want to approach this mm -hmm. i think we prepped you know like we we're getting very organized these days we do a lot of pre-mission briefing so i think we have a rough map sketch with us yeah and we show them the beach head mm -hmm. yeah as well as um this heading because we know that last time we were here ogres ran away and said we need to go get her Right. We're inquiring that's the hag. So we have a rough heading north, and then we show this other room that comes from their tunnel system and say we suspect it may meet up. Mm. But what they're saying, what they're saying is they think it's beyond the the hag is beyond the river, right? To the south. Is that right. right. Well they yeah, they're thinking they're thinking that while the hag like yeah, so the hag could be any like this is all the hag's terrain, right? So she could theoretically be anywhere. Mm -hmm. From there right yeah. so if we catch her in the north side that's great but if she's not there in the north they think th that her actual like layer or like part of her layer is somewhere uh below the beach or like to the south of the beach and yeah uh they because they think that's where the trolls come from too sometimes so they think that like the trolls aren't swimming they think they're coming up from somewhere below and if that's how, how, if that's case though they're asking you what are you going to do like how are you how are we going to how are we getting if over she's there? Underwater, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, th yeah, it might. There might be her whole entire things underwater. Well, I have a, I have an amulet of adaptation, so I can, I can breathe underwater for one thing. Um, if we need to cross the river, um, uh, I can. I have the ability to make us fly. Um, yeah, me too. And we have boats. We could take the boats. Oh. Um, I'll point out on the map the cave mouth to the crystal cave. And ask them if they know anything about this area, if that could be where where she uh, resides. Yeah. No, they they yeah, they know about the steamy cave, uh, and they say no. Uh, that's definitely not. It'd be more yeah. in inward. Now they're not sure whether or not, like maybe there's a passageway. You know, maybe these caves run around all over the place. Maybe there is yeah. a way down that way. That but they don't know it, and they're but based on the way you're they're asking the. Uh, you're asking these questions uh it's pretty clear that you don't know that either we don't know yeah okay so that's an unknown as far as like operational things um they they think that uh look it's still it would still be a pretty it would still be a major w if you can drive them uh you know drive any sign of the the hag off of the uh, at least the northernmost caves yeah i would say given that last time when the ogres saw they were kind of getting smashed, they their reflex was to run and fetch her. So yeah. I think if we just come in and start breaking shit and killing all of her minions, she'll get fetched eventually anyway. And, and in that case, it could be more useful to come in from the north through their tunnels, push southwards, and just eventually have killed enough people that she shows up to the fight. Do want to say it might be good to push her like specifically push her back to her lair because if it is like hidden underwater or something there's no shot that we're finding that and uh crow has dollar signs in his eyes yeah oh for sure 
Yeah, yeah. We definitely want to find her there. Um, do we still want to check, because we're thinking she's, like, south, do we still want to check that room? Or are we just, like, because I'm fine with leaving it, because it seems like she's probably not there. But if we're still, like, worried about it, hooking up. I'm sorry, which room is that? Just... Oh, this one. The, I think we like know that there's a room angle. here, but yeah. we're not sure if it connects. Mm. Yeah. But I on mean, the map, it, it comes within, like, there. 20 feet. And there could be a secret door or tunnel or something that connects over. True. Yeah. My thinking was, in terms of, like, ruling out areas, we could start in one that seems enclosed and just push... That way we've ruled out everything behind us kind of thing by the time we come to the beach. Yep. I mean, these ranges are pretty hardcore. Yep. Do they have a strong feeling? If we're um, checking for... Oh, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, I, I think they would prefer to go hunt through the caves. Um, for sure. So, yeah, these caves, I think they're like sloping down... And we also come down 30 feet through the whatever yeah. worm slope. Um, so these are maybe like, you know, 60 feet off of each other. There still could be like a ladder that goes down or something, but it probably doesn't like at yeah, all the same true. level match up. That is true. Uh, yeah, everything slopes down to the beach, to be clear. Mm -hmm. Do they know of a path oh, through see, yeah. this wooded area up to the fungal area up here? Or is this yellow, this path, the only one? So glad you asked. They do. They do know of a way uh, into the caves, that direction. And that's the way they would we would propose they would start. Okay. Yeah, let's follow their lead. Mm -hmm. But they didn't, yeah. I yeah, mean, that here is local really specialist. Idea. Would be good to map that area anyway. Okay, it's decided. Let's fall out. Gavdas is also trying to sound military, but probably embarrassing himself. <clears throat> okay, well, this will actually take you through um, part of the area of the LRCP, which is grand. Um, so you're not actually going to be heading out through the um, the stairs and the path to the right. You're going to be heading down the paths that take you out through the, the cage. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um, so that actually will connect off of... There's an offshoot. Yeah, where the party so, uh, sign is. Exactly. Um, after... 10, 20, 30, after 35 feet, including this 5 feet right here, so 10, 20, 30, uh, there will be another um, 15 by 30 uh, rectangle long-wise. Uh, and this will serve as part of the barracks and stuff for the LRCP. Um, most notably, yeah, the, uh, the colonel, like the colonel, like the head of the, uh, like the commander of the LRCP is not going on this mission, but has like blessed them and wished, uh, the party well and do, uh, doing them proud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it's it, sorry. It goes, it's like kind of that oh, way. Along with, sorry. I know yeah, you said you're okay. Just... Sorry. Yeah. That's Two, three. East, west. No, east, you're good. <laughs> Uh, we all we all been there. It's, it's actually like a little bit closer like that. And then there's a passageway that bends down five feet. Correct as you uh, need. They'll they'll open the locked doors and stuff through it. So you're going to actually proceed out of the caves. Uh, and then out of this massive steel cage structure that uh, is part of the mushroom forest. They're going to... Uh, take you and walk around the cave walls to the north. Okay. So they're following the cave wall. Yes. Um, 
so you're gonna notice though that there's a sort of like sharp bend and it's gonna like make kind of a circle kind of situation around this way um this is all mushroom forest but that's fine as you go down this way pretty much about where i stopped uh there is a <clears throat> concealed door um that enters the caves okay So what's the general marching order here? I guess the beastmen are up front since they know where to go. Um, hmm. I would offer to be up there with them in the front lines if they will have me. Totally. Okay. All right. Uh, this room will... the This door uh, will... actually hold on let me just make sure it's not actually like a full fully fledged kind of door or anything like that um it's actually more just a tunnel entrance that's concealed by uh a bunch of giant mushroom to be clear mm -hmm. so it's you know mushrooms and their, your lichens and stuff they they push out of the way and as they push that out of the way they will reveal that it's about a 10 foot wide cave um going to your like seven and seven o'clock um before opening up into a uh, larger overlord chamber by about 20 by, by almost like let's say 25 by 20 um, that goes orthogonal to the path that I just laid out. So like something like this and then something like this. Uh, but there is a there's a passageway going this way and there's a passageway going to the south. There are numerous little uh, rat bones and things that litter the, the ground here. Um, you can see that there are sticks, dung, and dirt around. And they will warn you, um, you know, uh, to just hiss at the lizards and they'll leave you alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like it's going to eventually join up with this thing, which had rats and lizards. Mm, mayhaps. Um, I just have to keep it rough for a while. Yeah. They think they you're they want uh they're gonna suggest going north because I will get you to the northern tunnels. Like they know a way to the beach this way, but they also know okay. that this is also the way that the ogres will will live. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. We got to rock their world. I think killing ogres is gonna be part of this. So yeah. Okay, um, you all you all do sufficiently good hisses, and you're a big enough party uh, that the the lizards will scurry away from you um, as you enter the next room as well. Uh, this room, so our our map is not exactly perfect, uh, but it's fine. So and there's going to be some overlaying of of rooms. Yeah, but there is a sort of top chamber here with another passageway heading out of it with more lizard sticks and dung. Uh, as well as a couple half-eaten uh, mushroom people. Interesting. Hmm. Can Chuck get some sense of yeah. like what may have eaten them based on yeah, the lizards? Yeah, the lizards. Okay. Yeah. Duh. These are the wolfhound lizards uh, that live in the, in the caves over here. All right, let's just go in gray for a while to keep this overlay clearer. Sure. Okay. Um. Yes, and then the next room here uh, is going to actually be occupied. It's a another chamber. It's about fifteen by fifteen circular with a passageway going through it. Um. So those, so just keep it going. Yeah. And uh, the denizens of these chambers are uh, three, uh, sorry, it should be four total um, mushroom people. Uh, three of them are the brown and white stalks with the spots on them, as well as one blue one. And uh, they all seem to be having signs of battle damage. 
from the wizards? Um, some of them seem to have, uh, no, uh, their, their wounds are too sharp and too accurate for lizards. Mm. <laughs> Maybe ogre claws. It's just beastmen javelins. <laughs> it looks like axe Ooh. guts. Like stormtroopers, yeah. probably. Yeah. Uh, rangers, are... what, what do you know about ogres? Do, do we need to know anything about, I've heard rumors of fire or is that trolls or? Trolls. Yeah. Do they have any intel? Normally they're dumb, which makes them good charm targets, which is what our okay. quarry is after. They will certainly fight to the death. Okay. That they shall get. But the, um, before you guys can move on, uh, the, um, four wounded um, mushroom people here are going to look at you and uh, be like arms. <laughs> Am I still doing that? And they're like, what? Yeah, then the beastmen are like, what the? We're not giving you the, their arms. So y'all don't have to get yeah. checked? What the hell? No, they don't have to. Racist. Um, uh, I don't think Theodora no, is Deals, but... yeah, uh, well. yeah no uh in fact no here's a here's an issue that's gonna be that's that's quickly like the lrcp are are coming to terms with these are not normal or sorry, these are not the regular fungal foresters that recognize tarmia oh is this how long have they been in here oh they've been in here too long yeah they're okay. still following, following the old old orders they believe in tarmis yeah yeah, they're like, uh, oh, they, they, don't know the, they don't know the war's over. Oh, these things, yeah, these things must have been trapped in here. Poor guys. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, what's what's going to be the plan, uh, y'all? How are you going to handle this? Has it, I guess it, I guess there are people in the party who have done deals with Double uh, Crown, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Demora. Demora. Yeah. Uh, but... I think we should just say, no, freedom, go, and just direct them out. Just tell them that they can leave. Yeah, surely the beastmen can, like, direct them to mother to be re-indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can try to, persu we can try to persuade them. Or they do, they want to do they want to join us in our, in our quest? Yeah, yeah. yeah, do they want to fight <laughs> some revenge? Others? Like, what do they think about no. a hag, for example? Mm -hmm. uh, I think they'd be more interested in uh, Tarmia, to be honest with you, than Mur they're not really like the, yeah. not really murdering types. I mean, if we manage to if we manage to cool them down, we might be able to ask them if they have any, if they know where the hag might be, and then they might they might know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're no, they're they're remarkably calm despite like some of them uh missing arms and joints and stuff, and other ones having like huge axe marks and things in them. Yeah, exposed what would be like a clavicle. Yeah. But what are you what are you gonna ask him? Uh I think I think we just ask them um we just say to him we um well we're seeking the hag. Hmm. Um do you do you know where she might reside? Hag friends north. They don't say where they're yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so the hags yeah. not. No, but they would be. Uh, I think. I think they would be very happy to be uh, let go and know that the, it's safe. They go this way. Yeah. Let's tell them that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we'll even tell them okay. how to avoid the lizards, just so they don't get chewed up. <laughs> tell them what noises to try to make. Okay, they're not good at making the noises, but uh, if we if we take our time a little bit and let the uh, and you all escort them so the lizards don't uh, mm. start eating them, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Just yeah. mark, and at that mark, point, it's a new torch. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Gavdos will light a lantern as well. Well, we sp oh, we've got the party split out, I guess. 
Yeah, but I figure we'll just move the party icon until we need to actually get into fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, leaving this room will be a T intersection. Uh, actually, it's a pie intersection. Uh, so what's going to look like is going to be kind of like this. Uh, there's a way north from here, but then there's a second way south, not that far down, and then it goes straight like this. There's kind of four. There's four ways, and you're coming in on one of the ways, one of the columns of the pie. Um, I think we've somehow had this happen. Mm. Unless these are totally different caves. It could be on a different level. This okay. could be 30 feet higher. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we'll just keep it all gray to to show that it's overlaid somehow. Yeah. Uh, to your uh, south, you can hear going this. North. Right. Yeah, to the south, you can hear the sound of rushing water. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but it's not this, Eric, that we where we were before. This pie. No, no, pie none of this. None of this looks familiar at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the fungus said north for troll friends. I yeah. think we should go north. Yeah, the north, uh, the north facing side here is noticeably cooler. Hmm. Let's I think it's like peak. a like a hot okay. spring. Um. Uh, as we move, I think um, um, Theodora wants to cast detect invisibility. Um, but let's uh it's basically like a chance it, it's the same as a chance spell i think um yeah, you can see all invisible and hidden things as they're plainly visible nice um, okay try that. so you're looking at a 30 you're coming in about 10 feet off of the edge of a 30 foot cave extending northward um and then it continues off towards the west uh as far as your your light can see but shambling towards you um, as you cast the spell is a large uh, figure, about 12 feet tall. Um, uh. <laughs> I'm like, can everyone else see that? Or is that yeah. just me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I see it. Yeah. Uh, some of your, your light uh, shows holes in it uh, as it stumbles towards you. Uh, okay. Now, are these things supposed to be charmed? I think everybody that follows the hag is charmed. Do we know right. if casting dis dispel magic on them is going to uh, affect? Theodora so asks us quickly. <laughs> here's what here's what I'm going to say. Uh, we're going to go through initiative order after Ed is gone. So it would be Lauren, Meg, and so, and then I'll go. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so was my go? Was my go? Was my so, go detecting invisibility? Yeah. So it, yeah. after you after you say like you know. Expecto Visiosa, uh, you know, and you see your you see the shit, and it turns on your night vision sound, uh, you know, turns on. Uh, there's a sh there's a moan in the dark as uh, this um, figure uh, starts coming forward. Okay, cool. Well, that's my that's my that's my go mm. so, uh, uh, Lauren. Okay, we drop all our people in. Oh wait, Eric, were you saying that? Uh... Ed gets an action after the detection. No, 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 I'm saying that's no, no, that after, was my action. Yeah. yeah, as a reaction, yeah, as a reaction to to the um the spell, uh, this thing is going to start coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Is this thing only five wide? Uh, yeah. In fact, it's actually a like a crude stairwell you're ascending. I mean, I guess we probably would have got in a little bit for Ed to see it. That's reasonable. <laughs> and the cave goes on for some time like this. And then, and yeah, they're probably, I mean, it doesn't really, they're still like this, a move distance to you. 
I just guard the rear at this point, so I'm actually watching behind us. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Yeah, Sable too. Sable's going to come down to this intersection and watch down here. Would would Pixis be up with the rest of the group, or do you think they'd be fine kind of splitting splitting ranks? And Rakwa. Yeah. No, um, they'll be happy to work uh, spread out between you all. Okay, so then, yeah, Pixis would be down here, I guess. Racky. Sorry, I jumped in the middle. So, Lauren, you were saying you were hanging back, Meg. Yeah, I'm going to guard from behind us. So I'm going to be watching where we've come from. Just to make sure nothing is, no lizards are going to ambush everybody. Which one? Not that I can see them, but whatever. Um, I mean, that's just kill this thing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do. I mean, I was thinking of casting someone casting dispel magic on it. So if we can, if it's charm, we can break its its charm. But oh, it might, the holes it in might, it that Eric described it made me sound undead. undead. It might, maybe it's undead. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe a bit better off just getting it if we have the, the moaning. You know, mm -hmm. as a as a priest, a lot of experience recognizing undead things. Uh, yeah, no doubt this thing is undead. Okay, cool, fine. I thought it might just be badly injured. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Meg... Yeah, Crawford Crof is just going to try and shoot it with his crossbow. Um, oh. with... Potential success. Oh yeah, that's definitely a hit. Oh great. In which case... Damage. Seven damage. That's me. Could you give a very brief description again, Eric? Is it? It's a shambling. Yeah, hulking it's a massive. Guy. It's a massive ten or twelve foot tall, uh, hulking figure, uh, with exposed muscle and bone, in different different areas, shambling at you. Um, hey Meg, if could Crowfeeder move past Hastar? Um, is me. that possible? Totally. Oh, I forgot there's more of this space up here. Yeah. Um, Eric, do you think Chart could get like past? Oh, yeah, you can get you, you can get past for sure. Okay. Um, okay, well, Chert will run in with that Warhammer. Um, nice. And swing on um, this giant undead thing. Oh, yeah, do it. Uh, up front to it, you can see that this is definitely a undead ogre. Yeah. Okay. And, like, uh, I guess a mighty deed would be to, like, disable an attack. Sure. Stun it something yeah i let you try to reduce its attacks yeah oh yeah you do nice yep. cool you break one of its arms okay. and then if he has any action you just back up a little bit and give it some space or something sure So um, that would also be not just six damage because you add the mighty D. Yeah, so nine. Three more nine damage. nine damage. Oh, thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, that's the turn. Added. You're going to stay up there, Paul? You don't have any action to get back closer to the party? I think I might have used my action. Mm -hmm. uh, or the rest of your movement, yeah. I mean, okay. like, Eric, let me know how far back I can get, but, you know. Passing Hastar coming over here, it looks like thirty feet. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think getting packed, uh, back past the ranks of Hastar at all from the group is. Yeah. You you could be in front of them if you wanted to. Yeah, I can get back. Okay. Uh. Um. Hang on. Who 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 in the front rank has light? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Crow Fader, I, the food mender is up with us. I just forgot to move yeah. them. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Can you put a, ta a T on food mender? Please? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. It will remind me of uh, what I should be describing. Who looks more in need of being protected, Shorak or Chert? I'm guessing Chert. Uh, so I cast Protection from Evil on Chert. Yeah. Oh, I nice. have dead bones, so that's me. Okay. Cat's going to come up and activate his shiny new wand of magic missile. Hey! Ooh. Oh, crit. is that a crit? Yeah, yes. double damage. Doing seven damage. And kind of hustle up this way. Gav Dust will come up. <clears throat> Let's type, uh, let's type Ogre's like no fireball spells. No fireball. <laughs> Not right now. Um, Lightning Bolt, I guess. Oh, well, Lightning Bolt's a line. I'll have to come to the front. Shooting a lightning bolt at it for 12 damage. And then fall back a little bit. Okay. Uh, that's a good shock. And it's down. Nice. Uh, the, tough. Yeah, the flash of lightning reveals that, uh, yeah, the cave continues uh, even beyond your lightning strike. Sick. Hmm. Where on earth does this? I can't see any with my detect invisibility. I can't see any concealed concealed exits from this this chamber we're in. New. No. Anything suspicious on the on the ogre? Um, I think, uh, no. But I think what I would show is from the lightning bolt, just to help you all out. Um, the lightning bolt would reveal that there's a lot more bones and stuff in this where I'm drawing these X's. Uh, enough that you remember that there were bones and things over here at this X, and that these will connect. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah, this map's all fucked up, but it's fine. Mm, all good. good. Do we think just sort of rotating this cave 90 degrees down? <laughs> wow. Artistic license. And just, yeah, yeah just sort of, yeah. it's a cave, you know? That's true. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, well, it's a, it goes back to being as quiet as the grave down here. Uh, I guess we we'll push on. Right out the other side mm -hmm. of the cave. Nice. That's like a big brain. Yeah. Oh, but it had a tunnel coming out the bottom, so I'll preserve. Correct. That. Yeah, there is a tunnel at the bottom. Thank you. So we think the okay. ogres were running in here, and then what? Teleporting? She must have been up there that day, I guess. Oh, uh, maybe. Unless okay. they were running up to go down here to go down south. Yeah. So what you're seeing, what you're seeing here is um, this large cave where all these bones are. You can see that there is an old spit that's empty, um, you know, broken over a fire pit with a bunch of bones um, all around it. Okay. Do we want to maybe backtrack and go down to the water this way? Or see, investigate this? Because they definitely did run this way last mm -hmm. time. 
Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. By your Thanks. by your logic, seeing this place. Sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Meg. Um, just uh, by your logic, when the ogres ran away, the only way out of this place was the way you just came in. Besides the, besides besi the yeah, besides the way that you came in, you know, so like that session, you guys were, you guys were around here, right? Yeah. And you saw the golems run this way. Logically, there's, this is the only exit you can, you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the way you're coming in right now. Yeah. We didn't miss anything around the base. Unless there is some sort of secret um, uh, passage in this room that we've missed. But yeah, I would agree. Yeah, it oh. sounds promising to go down towards the water because that kind of matches up with what the Beastman mm -hmm. uh, squad said. So we get to this next intersection, readjust our order properly, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going back to the potty market for a bit. Yeah, that's fine with me. As long as we have a rough outline um do you want the do you want to like order or issue the beastman to go check out something or do you guys want just want to do this together or like do you want them to mm, i don't think we need to split up okay. never split the party <laughs> sure okay so we're not we're going back the way we came fuck i'm so sorry Nick. <laughs> That's fine. Good. Well, it's just, I think they're still going first, right? Because they have the camouflage in the caves. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for my own clarification, we're heading this way, right? Which is different than from where we came. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're doing a full, uh, full return about. Uh, the Beastman will point out to you that, yeah, this probably was the hat, uh, the ogre, um, lair. Looks like they broke camp. Now they're they are stupid. Maybe they left something behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, just want to take some time to search. That's right. Oh. We forgot the bones prompt. When the, where there's bones, there's probably oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. adventure gear. We search yeah. the bones. All right, south. But yeah, let's let's go to the bones. <laughs> <laughs> Since and I guess maybe if there's like a anything noticeable down the southern passage as well uh for sure well, i guess eric is there is there water rushing sound coming from there too no uh from that south passage there is not the sound of rushing water interesting dead end maybe yeah okay Wait. we'll search for bones first maybe we'll peek down the southern passage then we'll backtrack mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yes, um, there is a set of, so let me, let me describe to you the, the bottom of, of this little, like small Southern cave alcoves. This is definitely like the, the smelly part of the caves where definitely the ogres slept. They probably they used the bigger cave that you just came into as sort of like their eating and chilling area. Um, there is uh, of note uh, in a in a pile of rocks to the east. So I would kind of I'll do it kind of this way. I'll draw a little bit to help. Uh, there's kind of like a kind of looks something like this, right? And uh, over here, there's uh, actually a corpse that's under a bunch of rocks, uh, and you can see sticking out um, Wizard of Oz style uh, a fine pair of boots. Oh, <laughs> this is the this happens times in this dungeon. Someone's <laughs> someone's sticking out from behind. Yeah, yeah. so many boots. Yeah, are they magic? Uh, like? no, but they are maroon. No, uh, they're not feeling magical. Yeah, still fine pair of boots. Did a nice maroon that matches my new setite shield. No, it's uh, more Not, not it's more in purple. like actual color, but aesthetically. <laughs> no, no, unfortunately, no. Oh. Yeah, let's uncover the body anyway. You know, the boots might not be the only thing. Oh, totally. Okay. Um, 
we're going to uncover the body. Uh, and yeah, you can spot in here that there is, uh, first off, the set of this fine pair of leather boots. Uh, and there is a stone headed of a statue in here. Interesting. What kind of head? Not Arden's head, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it is. It is not. Uh, as far as you can tell, I don't think you know who this is. Okay, but it's a human or humanish person. That's what I'm about to look. Yeah. Is it just made of um, stone? It is made of stone. Based on the cone on their helmet, they're probably a priestess. And based on the size of the head, it's probably a 10 or 11 foot tall statue. Like maybe like a oh. three meter statue. How how uh, how many slots would it take just to carry this thing? Uh, it's probably pack three. Pack three. Um, and her, yeah, where her eyes would be are holes. Ah, uh, okay. So maybe this was part of a... Like, if it was part of a sort of statue. Statue, yeah. If we've seen it. Wait, what's, what, so what was the statue in this in the room with the trolls in? It looks like there's a statue in here. Was this a headless statue by any chance? Are you asking the group? Uh, I'm asking the group, yeah. I wasn't here. I'm, I've not been to these caves before, so... I think it was like the plinth and just broken off legs or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was all it looks like. But uh, this carrying a head around, didn't we see something like that recently as well? Somebody else just carrying a head around? Like maybe they're carrying heads and then, I don't know, operating magical effects. If it's clobbering people with them? Yeah. Oh, I'm but you know, like put the eyes in and then it does something for you or... I'm just wondering if, if there's like a, a thing where there's all the, all the parts of this particular statue are, are, are scattered mm -hmm. around these caves and, you know, if we were to reassemble it somehow, some, something will happen. But it, pro it probably does not relate to, it probably doesn't relate to the, the hag, <laughs> mm -hmm. our immediate problems. Maybe we should, maybe we should leave this, we should put, maybe we, should, we can conceal this head back where we found it and we can always mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make a note and pick it up again later. Um... We, so we don't want to pick it up even though the hireling has room. If the hiding has room, then the, the, the hiding should take it. I, I, I don't have room for it, because I've got too mm -hmm. much stuff. Yeah, Fitmunder has room. And cool. given that we have like a party of about 15 people, let's just say that we mm -hmm. searched the rest of this big chamber yeah. and everything whilst uh, this was going on. Okay. Well, uh, after, uh, after looting the, uh, the head and stuff, uh, more rocks start to slide and give way. Um, oh. So... Uh, Everybody in front of there is going to need to make a dexterity save for me, please. Mm, who's in front of there? Who's everybody? Uh, uh, well, I was looking at it for sure, so I would make a save. Yeah, Gavdos checked if it was magic, so I'll make one. I rolled a 16, Eric. Okay, 16's good. Um, you just oh. need to get... I say you need, it's an easy test, so 13. Not easy enough for Casper. No. You got luck. This is how it happens. How dangerous does it seem? <laughs> six, 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 six damage. Uh, no. Wow. No, a, a rock, rock clobbers you on the head. Okay. I need that. That's where all my magic is stored. Yeah. <laughs> sister, sister, it's forming an egg. It's really quite sister. painful. What sister? There's no sister. Oh. Sr just coughs. It's like who's so used to <laughs> shouting out for her immediately. Um, the um, I need the backup priest. <laughs> I, think, I think he's concussed. Like, sorry, you'll you'll just have to deal with me. Like, spit on my hands. <laughs> yes, very good, um, uh, young man. La missing a bedside manner. For eleven HP. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, to, to anybody who hasn't seen Hatstar in a while, he's looking extremely hairy recently. Oh, yeah. oh is he still cursed? Is he he's still got the curse? The hairy curse. Are you wait, you're still cursed? Yeah. I've just been trimming my beard and shaving my back and stuff. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. 
you are seriously the most hairiest person who's ever been. Okay. That's, like, is this that's a so dwarf or a were rat? Yeah. Yeah. Gilly suit. You're putting these ranges to shame. Should we um should we head back down this passage? Should we head down this passage here? Yeah. The mm -hmm. south. There, wasn't, there wasn't anything in the bigger yeah. chamber, right? Eric? Oh, oh that's right. That's what I didn't look up for. We're in the stinky, smelly chamber down here. Yeah. Yeah, with all the bones and stuff in it. Because if if the, if the ogres yes. are running out this way, I reckon yeah, so we, we passage leads down. Yeah. Maybe it slopes down somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. We we spent the time thoroughly searching around the bones and the walls and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, you will find a heavy gold necklace with a ruby pendant. Ooh. Very nice. It's not magical. Has a basement, a basement taken a share of the treasure on this one? No, they're letting you. They're letting you keep this stuff. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I, I suggested we give them a donation. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm just curious okay. if, if they were if they were insisting on that. Oh, you guys can make a donation out of your share. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Down we go. Quick peek. Down this spur, just to see if it uh, is another dead end. It's not a dead end. That is a passageway that's continuing um to the west slash southwest, or southeast, east slash east slash southeast. I do. I do think probably with the rest of the map being fucked up, I think it probably connects like right here. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think we should go continue south. Yeah, so, great. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Meg, Meg's instincts are correct. Okay. I imagine what right. somebody goes down and yeah, you can see that it connects to there. And you notice that there is, yeah, you know, I was going to say, by the time you see it, there is a, another spur off and a steep slope down in the sound of water. Yeah. Uh, and you'd be like, this so, is yeah, so uh, I don't mind telling you that right now. Cause I'm just saving you a little bit of a epistemological checklist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, going straight down. You can go another 20 feet or so through these tight caves before uh, it opens up, but also slopes down relatively steeply another 25 feet and hits the water. Uh, and their fast moving river is flowing here. Uh, right before the river, you can see that there's a few sets of like little step stairs that are wet. Um, but across the way of the river, the river is only about 10 feet wide at this point. Uh, you mm -hmm. can see that there is another like another pass that you can kind of go through. So you can, you can see the start of, yeah, exactly. Uh, that gently bends uh, to the east after 20, uh, after 15 feet. Mm. Oh my God, that whole time we were rowing up this river, I can't just... believe I didn't see this. <laughs> okay, perfect. This is good. Okay. Deep is this river. I guess we can't just wade across it, right? Yeah, you guys. Uh, when you rode up this river, uh, super hard. You could only get to this first beach. That was as far as you saw it. If you if you were to survive one more time, you would have been able to see this uh, going further. That's right. Yeah, the time we rode, we only went to there. The yeah. Time we oh, yeah. The caves, right. we went this way because the water is like kind of moving fast, especially you know, like towards mm -hmm. the um big lake. Okay. Everybody, yeah. we need to enter a heightened state of preparedness now. This is what we were looking for. Can we just cross it? Sorry, I don't understand that. Can we just cross this river, or do we need to do something to cross this river? Uh, yeah, fording this river would require a both a strength and constitution check. Yes, that's a bastard thing, isn't it? Um, well, we if we were to... If... Bro? Yeah, I was going to say, if we put a rope across, can we make it easier for people to get across? I've got the rope of climbing. Yeah. If that would oh, yeah. negate the roll. Um, the rope just throws you across. I have also got floating disc, so I don't know if I, I could fly across and then potentially cast a um, floating disc as well. Or I could float in disc. Somewhere no, somewhere. I'm, I would be more than happy to just to make the, make the test easy with the rope, but I still think a test is going to be necessary to go across the fast-moving water. Hmm. Um, what if with the rope of climbing we like put that across and then can use that as like a tightrope and then have another rope 
with iron spikes acting as the handhold. Two ropes, uh, yeah, like uh, basically a two rope with an assisted bridge. I would just say that's cool. Uh, we just think time passes, but then someone needs to yeah. get to the other side and yeah. set this up and stuff. I've I've got I've got spider climb as a, as a spell. I could also just start casting spider climb on oh, people yeah. so they can get across. Well, yeah. well we've got a lot climb of over the people, ceiling. So I go go yeah. gadget rope. You spider climb across. Set up the other rope. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Let me see if I can cast right. cast my spider climb. We can oh, just mark the ring of spider climb. Okay, yeah, I've, I've cast spider climb myself, so I can I can get across. <clears throat> Crow feeder can contribute the rope and some spikes. How many do you think we need? Four? Two? Oh, I think uh, four, four is fine. Okay. okay. Hastar and Theodore are going across. Yep. Uh, and we'll mark off ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Once everybody's over, let's recall the magic rope because we don't so, want to leave it here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So to make things a little more complicated, though, um, you're not going to all make it over the river before an encounter check happens. Uh, mm -hmm. Three of you will be, will, will be over the river uh, when the first ogre will come down. Oh, sorry. It's not an ogre. Uh, I misspoke. Uh, is one of the blue uh, mushroom people. Mm. Oh. Oh. Wrong, uh, big hulking weird guy. So, uh, oh. yeah. And it's it's three people over, not three people left. Correct. Three people have made it okay. over before the first uh, blue, um, like blue mushroom man uh, oh. will start waddling his way down uh towards towards you all uh and That's looks exactly. very angry would one so, of the beast men have gone uh, Sorry, is, it, is it i don't know is it three people is it three people in, in addition to theodore and hasta or one person in no no what you, you two plus one okay cool somebody with light but uh yeah. yeah, yeah, but to, to clarify hasta doesn't necessarily have had to have crossed because the magic rope just like goes over there and sets it but he would have been yeah. at the front so i guess because it's cramped it makes sense that he he would have gone to make room yeah mm -hmm. i think it makes sense for two have been a beastman because they were also at the front and they're like the scouts yeah mm -hmm. okay well rock rocklaw has the light so maybe he went okay so yeah rocklaw astar and theodora nice yeah i guess rocklaw was guarding while we set up the ropes Uh, wobbling, wobbling down angrily, uh, is this blue, uh, mushroom person looking to defend, uh, their, their cave. You can see that they, that there's a small set of stairs that are, um, going upwards towards the east that they're coming down. And, uh, we're going to go to initiative. Um, if we want, we can just determine whether the people up front, the three, uh, will react in time or, or this guy reacts first, but it's up is to you. Is this creature saying anything as it comes towards us, or is it just? Uh, no, it, it's not saying anything. It's ready to. It's coming over here. Like it. It doesn't. It. It's ready to attack. Wants to fight. Okay. Now, uh, that doesn't mean that you couldn't try to talk to it first. I rolled a one. It's Theodora sensing enchanted mind control vibes from it. Um. Who's what says no. have I won initiative here? Who's right. this thing's walking like uh bodybuilder arms out like you know. Uh, oh ready. do you want us to roll for the beastmen? Or would they just go on? Well I, I I'm just yeah, I'm just interested right now for the uh the first three. Oh yeah. I guess Rocklog needs to be rolled as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter. So Theodore. Um, so this doesn't necessarily... Yeah. So they haven't said anything to you, but maybe they're making assumptions. Maybe they're not. 
maybe they're mind controlled. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's not. <laughs> so I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. My my if Theodora's instinct is that these things are mind controlled, um as a as a wizard, would she, would she know if, if a dispel magic would, would break a break a charm? Or is that just something yes, that she would That would definitely that would definitely break a charm if they were Okay, so he's she she is going to take a chance and try and cast dispel magic on this thing to see if it is charmed in some way. Uh, success. Nice. Cool. Um, the mushroom like staggers for a second. It goes why and goes at you oh okay so maybe it wasn't chilled yeah. i mean it might think where uh, no it, it, so, so it doesn't I, sorry so it doesn't yeah so at that point it would go hag magic and like come at you mm -hmm. so yeah this is the brewing of a misunderstanding so you've dispelled the magic it's no charm but it still sees you as a threat Mm, yeah. No, there was no no. You, I think you can tell as a magician uh, that your spell had no effect. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I made a, I, I made a get. I, yeah. I made a gamble. Yeah. Didn't, didn't work, yeah. So, yeah. so unfortunately, though, you're you're confirming this thing's suspicions that you all are yeah, hag yeah, agents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe the hag is not in this direction. <laughs> uh, so that's your turn. That's it. Yeah. I. I guess Rockwell will try to tell it it's like we're enemies of the hag, like back yeah. off or we'll cut you down. No, you charm. You tried charm. No, no, we thought no. we thought you were charmed. Oh, we know we know the hag. We know the hag charms people. We we we're sorry for the misunderstanding, uh. but um. My spell, my spell should have had made no harm to you at all. Yeah. Me and my kind, are... yeah. Children of Tarmis, like... <laughs> hold on. Children, children of Tarmis cannot be charmed, and but they they do get out of attack. Uh, you know, their ex okay. ex foils get out of attack position, and their arms go down. They're like, come, and they will let you go. So you, we can all cross over. Uh, Rockwell's misunderstanding. Like, Rockwell's like Tarmis has been defeated. Tarmia is there. You've been you've been in the lost in the war too long, brother. Go Come. back. Come. You, Does he know you, where you explain the that. hag is? Yeah, we, we, before he goes, we'd ask yeah. if he if he knows where the hag is because we seek to we seek to destroy her. Yeah. You came from where hag is. Uh. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Are we going? Ah, where is she? Uh, that's fine. No, uh, Maybe. I think. The beastmen would probably be like they probably, they probably uh, you know the the forest people probably don't know. There's there's probably some other exit in here. Okay. But he said come like he's leading us somewhere. Yeah, like he he thought you guys were a threat and you're gonna come over into his dang woods again. Like yeah. Okay. So he's like, uh, yeah. So um, you're gonna be in a large, uh, humid mushroom forest. Hmm. Is it any of these bits down here, Eric, Correct. That we it's, it's this one. This one. Okay. So we'll just do some movie magic and link yeah. these up. Oh, man. Our scale is so off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Um, right. So uh, this cave is warm moist and full of those giant mushrooms that you've seen in the greater chasm uh this place is tended by a small colony of these mushroom people there is uh spatterings of brown and white fungal types there are blue ones and yellow ones that are kind of more the defender types um you've seen that there are these uh this one even has a red and a black one as leaders Ooh. they will uh uh chat with you or at least want to know what your intentions are. You seek, you seek hag. Yes. We will fight yeah. and kill the hag. 
And if you hate the hag also, you may join us. Tar yeah. Tarmis, sworn enemy of hag. Yes. Your orders are to help us kill her. Hmm. How do you... How do you know orders of Tarmis? The beastmen will uh, pipe up and be like, Mother works with Tarmis, yeah. Tarmia, mm. both. Yeah, they'll explain that Tarmis is now Tarmia. Hmm. Hmm. Tarmia. I was going to say something sneakier and say, truthfully, that Tarmis once gave us the quest to kill the hag yeah. and claim her territory. Yeah, which is true, isn't it? She has told yeah. us that she did yeah. do that. 10,000 years ago. Yeah. We are forester colony, not warriors. I, I kind of side eye the ones that are more protectory kind of guys yeah. that obviously can fight a little bit. They don't want to give up their home. I mean, they will be willing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At least point us on the right way. I don't think I don't think it's sufficient that yeah they would they would like cool get you know. Get on, get on the dang bus. We're gonna go kill the hag. They're, they're not. You know what I mean? Like you, you showed up, rock their world. That they're the person they're following is already different, and be like, oh, by the way, we need to go kill somebody. I think I feel like it's too much for them. Yeah. Right. That's I, I, I just looking at the map. I, I think there's this huge space. I mean, I know no. we're all a bit oh, on the south side of here. We've got this huge space. I think if we, there is a we, another exit here. Oh, there's oh, an exit there. there. Okay. What's down that way? They, try, they say ogres. Oh, good. Sounds good. Okay. Perfect. Thank mm -hmm. you. Doot, doot, doot. Uh, if any threat comes from this direction, please shout for us. Mm. I mean, they were indicating to go this way to yeah. find the hag, though, right? Like yeah. They... They, tell, yeah. They, t they tell you that ogre, ogres flee here. We fight ogres. We thought you with ogres. Excellent. Let's do it. No, Shroomy, we ain't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um Yeah, there is going to be a large kind of stomachy chamber. Uh you are going to come in and near the back are two ogres emaciated and scared eating mushroom bits. There is some water. These aren't undead ogres, are they? Or very no, no, they're ogres. they're living ogres. Okay, mm. We're trying to spell magic on these ones. <laughs> yeah. And we kind of rushed coming down here, Eric, but it, could yeah. there be some preparatory spells cast before we go in? Uh... No, that would change what they would do. Okay. Yeah. So instead, I think we are an initiative. Right. All right, got an 18. You want to roll for the beasties? Or I guess it doesn't matter for this time. Anyone get a hive than eighteen? No. Someone get eleven eight. Okay. Damn it. Will we get our marching order in order? How wide is the front rank here? Like how far could we have gotten in before this section maybe? Uh sure. That puts them like thirty away. Okay. Yeah, so Astar, Shorak, Blacklaw, Waxlar. 
probably like this. And then whoever wants to fill up behind. Yeah. All of these beastmen have well, spears, right? Yeah. Okay. But since the ogres are going before the beastmen, uh, I'll make this simple. Uh, as a veritable army is approaching them, they're going to cast Run. <laughs> nah. And run this way. Don't run, friends. We can cure you. <laughs> they're not as dumb <laughs> as we thought. <laughs> yep. Like, yeah, Chert would be like, where's the hag? Before all that. We we do the Captain Planet sing along and then poof back into a single yeah. party. Yeah, yeah. You form back and uh, let's go to a let's go to a, our, our quick break. Yeah. Uh, okay. it's about that time right, right, when we yeah. reassemble. Yeah, one v one. And it's just chill on me. <laughs> um, yes, right, is for the for the Ring of Spell Storing, you said somebody has to cast the spell on it, and then if they succeed, I have a one time use of it, right? A ring of spell storing is as though, yeah, once you cast a spell into the ring, anyone wearing the ring can cast that spell. It's not it's not like a scroll or a lot, it's like it's like literally like you memorize the spell. Oh, so it's, it's indefinite. It's not a one time use thing. Correct. Can you oh. change the spell? Can you change the spell or is it once you cast a spell? That's it. That's yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, OK, so, so pick, choose choose wisely, has to. <laughs> Hmm. but it does mean if i put magic circle in it because you're just casting the raw spell you could pick each time what it affects yeah you could yeah i think i think it'd be pretty reasonable to say i think a dispel magic on the spell on the on the ring would like reset it what if that was okay. the spell you were trying to put into it <laughs> <laughs> uh it, you can you can't you, you can only put uh level one spells in it no, you can only put level one. Okay. Uh, uh, dispel is not level one. Com comprehend languages, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it can carry up to uh, three spells. Oh, oh, three spells. Okay. Comprehend languages, magic missile, spider clone. Spider clone is level yeah. one. Yeah. Wow, that's powerful. Heck yeah. Action from evil. Probably yeah. spider clone the spell is, I think, it's, uh, it's focus. Yeah, it's focus. You lose your focus halfway up the wall. So you, you lose your fall. You lose your focus. Yeah, fall. Anyway, we could be tight on time if this is a big fight. Let's try yeah, to... Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so uh, are we sticking in initiative here, Eric, or are we... Uh, no, you know, we don't have to be in uh, Okay, initiative. so what I'd like to do is, I'd like for, if it is right for Theodora to kind of cast Detect Invisibility and just try and check and see if she can find any passages. Sure. Uh, if I can open in your eyes underwater, is tier one, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's okay. there are no there are no there's nothing else to find. Uh, Ooh. In, in this okay, case, so, as far as okay, passages, so if I if I can I use focus and come into this room where the mushroom people were? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so I try and focus up, that. In yeah, here. Keep, keep up your focus. Uh, that works in here. Yep. Uh, nothing. There is an yeah, exit. There's a human oh. exit to the northeast. Just to point out. Okay. And then I, 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 could someone come with me into the next room, <laughs> or the party come with me? But I want to check this southern room as well. Maybe Kathos okay. can bring his light. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, this. In here as well. Yeah, I think this room will probably be too big to say like one focus will do it. Do you want to look on the right or do you want to look on the left of the room? Uh, when you say left, left as we look at it, like the the, the northern northern wall first. I left, think. right. A uh, left. I'll look on the left first. Uh, I fail. Okay. And I, I fail my focus. Um, so we could wait a turn and I can try and cast it again. E what, uh, what's your well, hang on, hang on. objective right now? I think we should chase those trolls. We should just... chase them before mm -hmm. they get too far away. Oh, yeah. it's just, I just did no. what Meg. I'm just doing what Meg was discussing to, to to see if we can find any any other exits here. I think they ran straight to her, and maybe time is of the essence now. Okay. 
Let's go. Oh, what? That just goes straight back to the water? Yeah, yeah that's okay. That's kind of so ended. in this cave, oh, yes. Yeah. This cave, I just drew it in right then when Ed was talking. I was like, I'm finishing mapping it. Yeah, the ogres must have ran right into the water. Because there's no other exit from this way. You can see the beach to the other side, uh, maybe like 20 feet or so. Uh, off to your, um, on your 11 o'clock. Hmm. Do we see the ogres on the other side? No. I think this is where the potentially underwater layer may be. Uh, All right, I'll tie a rope to you, Theodora. You gotta go scope it out. Uh, well, I want to, I want to cast Detect Invisibility one more time in the room that I'm in. Uh, you need the, uh, this chert? I would who's, like who's lighting for you? I will light. I will light my own torch. It's fine. Well, yeah. food, food oh, can fine. come with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, crow's yeah. feet is gonna check. Okay, so I'll then try again. The rest of the party needs. Oh, Rackloss got the torch, uh, I guess. Oh boy. Okay, I'll try one more time with my luck. Yeah. Okay. Pass. There you go. Okay. Uh, after much ordeal, there is, <laughs> there you do you will spy a secret door. Oh. Uh, it will be. Right here. No, it's whether this, whether this, whether this is unrelated, <laughs> or maybe, this... or maybe it's the back door. There's always like yeah. a back door out of the layer. It's got to be a back door. Oh. I, th I think excellent work. Let's try yeah. this. Let's okay. Let's... Because we but can't. It's just, breathe it's just going down. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got my of adaptation, but like, how are we going to get the whole party on the water? I think it's better checking right. this. If this, if this goes nowhere, we can we can come back right and try and. Mm -hmm. and yeah, but... it's pointing roughly the right direction, and it could slope down, or who knows. So I think. It's yeah, maybe there's down. only like a water to get into the layer, and then it's dry. Oh, underground cave. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's water here as well. Maybe that's a little shock. Did he look in that already? Well, I did detect invisibility in this room, so I don't know if I would have. No. Is that deep? <laughs> like it's just a water tunnel going straight down to where there. No, that's just the pool that's from dripping stalagmites. Ah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm happy to go down this secret door. Mm -hmm. the lead. Do we want to, like, get everyone uh, weapons out? ready in case we open it and there's an ogre right on the other side <laughs> yeah i think we should do that i would if anyone can if anyone can give theodora some more luck that would be appreciated i don't know if anyone can in this party but i don't think so no seers and no bards sorry um, Cat I will luck that just so i can keep giving luck I really could have sworn that the secret door was going to be on that other tunnel. It's shocking to me that it's here. Because mm -hmm. the, the mushroom guys are here, right? So it might mm -hmm. just like, not be used very often. I mean, what, when we say you found a secret door, what does it, what, what does it look like? Right. So yeah. uh, the secret door is, yeah, looking at this door is that it's, it's very difficult to detect. Um, but you do find that underneath, like it's literally there's a, a, a button that opens this door that's beneath a rock. So you find like the rock hatch that opens that has the mechanism that. Well, Are there any any tracks around here? You know now we. Uh, only only the mushroom only only signs from the actually I guess no because I don't think the mushrooms leave the mushroom people leave tracks in their forest. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, well, Fyodor was ready to press a button whenever anyone, yeah. whenever we thought out who's, who's yeah, going I, what I'm doing. I feel like the um, why, while the, you guys are having this tactical discussion, I feel like in the other chamber, all of the mushroom people are having like a like a commune um, kind of <laughs> style like sit down discussion about the future of them and whether or not we should vote. They they're voting to determine whether or not they want to go back and join Tarmia or keep up uh, the little the life that they've had here, thinking that they were. Mm -hmm. uh, they they thought they were stuck here. They thought they were left behind. Interesting. Uh, so now they're like, you know, so they're having a existential crisis. Yeah, yeah. like they're about their the fate of their co little colony. So, anyways, um... okay, Gavdas has spells that are fading already. 
He's very anxious to get going right now. All right, Shorak, get ready. Um, right before we Hot do this, crossbow. new lantern, new torch. Yeah, everybody yeah. relights their lanterns. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, actually, um, yeah, Theodore is going to cast light on her her shield. Okay. Uh, which succeeds, so she has got light as well. In we go. Okay. Uh, there is this cave uh, opens up into a little alcove. Uh, five feet wide. Full of treasure. Nope. Not a tunnel, just an alcove. Yeah. The flat wall. Okay. Oh. No, Come back and check Theodore is going. There. Theodore is going to cast <laughs> detect invisibility again. Oh. This is think... how you secure something. You just have to put four secret doors in a row. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's another I mean, we'll it <laughs> So she she uses the lock again to to try and detect invisibility on this place. Uh, which passes. Okay. Um, you correct your... You correct your spell casting again, and yes, there is a second secret door here. <laughs> so, Lordy, it's our strategy to have an airlock. Yeah. Why are they stealing it? And again, what, can I tell what the mechanism is to open this? Is, is it another button? Uh, doesn't say, so sounds good. Uh, okay, well, whenever we're, we're, I point out where the button is, whenever we want to go in, press a button and mm. we go in. Let's go. Theodore, Theodore retreats now, feeling a little bit less lucky. Okay. Oh, can't get Who that. wants to be the, the brave soul to open the door? Stable. Go in that first. Is like, earn your money. This is your moment to earn <laughs> your 30 gold. Every highland gets one. Yes, that <laughs> button right there. <laughs> Sable, <laughs> Sable pushes the button. No. I've just, I've just been watching uh, Sable's more. a fighter. I've just mm. been watching the Fallout television series, and there's a very similar moment to this in, in one of the early episodes of that. Yeah, Sable's uh, a fighter. Oh, with the power armor and the bear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. Um... There are, yes, the first thing that happens is as the door opens, um, you are hit with smoky, uh, smoky air and, um, a foul bruise. <laughs> it's on people. Oh, it's, it's, it's absolutely on. <laughs> um... It's like sheer weight of numbers will carry the day. <laughs> Why are you yeah. all inside the room? I only just opened the door. Are you guys that be, uh, ah, in such a rush? We're, to we're, the, we're the front line. We had to rush in the second right. the door opened to stop them from pushing it on y'all. Hope no one gets charmed. Exactly. It's like, Hasta, my boy. Be a good chap. Hasta's too wise all right. to be charmed. Um, you do not catch them asleep or unnoticed. So we will go to initiative. Beastman slaves, beastman slaves. Oh, are each of those uh, tokens a group of people? Uh, no, I just uh, fat fingered. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come oh. on, Eric. That's better. Oh. So close. Anyone roll up an 18? Sure, sleep it. I can, but roll, I roll for oh, the beastman. Oh, oh, make, make roll 19. Uh, yeah, but it ties go to Eric. Roll, roll oh. for the beastman. Come on, beastman I 19. Thought, oh, yeah. Beastman. Ties go to Eric. I thought, I thought ties. Did the ties go to Eric? Yes. Yeah. Ties, uh, ties between players, you organize as you, as you see fit. Ties between GM and players, uh, GM always wins the tie. Who, who's got the best initiative bonus? I think it's worth, if you have luck, I think it's worth having a shot at re rolling this. To try and beat Eric. I'm I have a plus three, but I'm not going to roll higher than 17, probably. I have a plus three. 
fifteen percent chance. Fifteen percent chance it happens all the time. 18. It's a fifty fifty, really. It either happens or it doesn't. True. <laughs> Do you want me to use luck? I, I personally think it's worth a shot because I think if we lose this initiative, we're in deep trouble. Okay. No. no. Okay. <laughs> sure. You want to risk it? Seems like luck is something we're going to need right now. You guys but... should keep your luck. At... Oh, well, now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> That was all I had. No. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, if we die, it definitely wasn't that. <laughs> uh, spell on Hastar. I have protection from evil. Yep. By the way. Uh, Just literally. Make it. Uh. Have you ever made have you ever made a spell roll, Eric? Just Honestly, frankly, I don't know. I don't think so. Um <laughs> okay. so cool. uh, like, this is it. This is my chance. Well, that was <laughs> a spell the from the um, yeah. I that think was a spell from the hag. The hag no, nah, okay. So what this looks like is the hag will kill a beastman and as luck. And I knew it. One. I could see in your eyes that we're yeah, about like, to it's like the they have at luck well, it's a, I think yeah. bo- I think we're in the bosses have luck meta at this point especially in their lair i feel like yeah. that's oh yeah yeah i think that's absolutely fair. Sure. okay do you not have to roll with disadvantage if he's got protection from evil um only if it's a charm spell or right no i have protection from evil just in general so any yeah, evil but... things against me are cast at disadvantage it's not evil it's dispel magic but the hag is evil hostile spell casting checks against the target Got it. Well, uh, I guess then they find out that you are have protection from magic. So, okay. Mm. These beings also can't possess Compello Beguile. Oh, that's fine. Uh, fails. No. Okay, cool. Hags mad at you. They say, kitties, get that one. And they do. So. And these ones will go after their kin. All right, Hastar. AC twenty. Uh, Eric, for what it's worth, you missed one. Uh yeah, they can't. Oh yeah, I guess I can squeeze in there. At the bottom. So thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Yeah. Claw one. Claw two. And bite. Okay. Claw one. Take it. Claw two. Eight. Uh, that's 27. Take it. Oh. Okay. okay. So I took 15 damage. Uh, yeah. Stab. Miss. Miss. Stab. Miss. Okay. So then uh, these two on Shorak. Uh, miss. Miss. These two on Laxlar. Oh, the, they don't have protection. They don't. Just me. I gotta re-roll. Okay, sorry. Um, you're right. Uh, hit, miss, miss, hit. So each of them, Shorak and Laxar, will each get hit. Uh, two on first one, three on the other. Uh, okay. Turns over. Um, what are, the zone, what are the zones here, Eric? Can I hit, can I hit the hag with a fireball <laughs> if I go here? <laughs> uh, yes. Will it also hit Astar and Shorak and Laxlar? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, so, so, I will, so I will not do that. Um, I can try and hit her with my, uh... Could spend your luck and do it. That's what I think. I don't have, I don't have any luck. I lost my luck. Um, I am going to try and hit her with one of the magic crossbow bolts, then. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but I can't move and fire with a crossbow, right? No, you can. Just you just can't reload. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I would. I will do that. And they're plus. They're plus two. Plus uh, two crossbow. Yeah. Oh, it's the uh, fire arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, twenty. <laughs> does that hit? Twenty yeah. hits. Good job. Um, so, so the way it works is a uh, crossbow. Crossbow is D six. Anyway, right, and then I'm adding plus two for the crossbow bolt, and then D four for the and a D four for the flame. Next, so, so it's eight damage and additional two points of flame damage, and then I don't know how does that is that like, if that's going to oil flask it lasts some number of rounds, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Do you? I know. I guess you've rolled that, have you? Okay, they take ten. Uh, I don't know. Focus. What? She, she didn't cast a spell. She failed a casting spell. She failed a casting spell. a spell, dude. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, good. I was going to say the focus on the uh, the mind controlled ones. But then I'm sure no, it's a. That doesn't work that way. Yeah, so, <clears throat> there's a fear door. like, Marines, let's rock! Jumps on the corner, shoots with the crossbow, and <laughs> jumps Yeah. Back. Okay. End of my turn. <laughs> now, question How close can I get to any of these frontline? You can get uh, one rank behind him. You can share the spot with Sable. Okay. Uh, the best I can do... Throw a javelin. Yeah, just the short it's sword isn't going to work. You could just use the javelin and attack from second rank without losing it. Okay, it's only... Oh, if you're aiming for the hag, yeah. No, nah, well, no, I want to clear up. I want to help protect yeah, we got, the line. Yeah, we got to try and break into the room, right? That's yeah, all. that's my goal. I am going to attack a beastman that's fighting Shorak with a mighty deed of trying to blind it with a javelin. I hit the mighty deed, and it's an AC 15 hit. That hits. That hits. Okay. So D4 plus four. Five damage and I blind them. Blind them. Just nice. Scoot through the eyes. Okay. Um so Crow Feeder, even as little goblin, there's no shot he's getting through into melee, right? Well, actually, no, he has his crossbow, so that's, he doesn't want to do that anyway. Um, can he hit the hag from back here with a crossbow bolt? Sure can. Like, does he, does he have aim? Okay. And he's going to try and shoot her um, with the mighty deed of... I think he's also going to try and blind her to try and disrupt spellcasting. Okay. Oh, yes. And will do so. Nice. For nine points of damage. Very nice. Oof. Cool. Uh, good, good missile, missile mm -hmm. stuff. Damn, now they're blinded. Good job. Mm -hmm. Um, on Church's turn, he'll. Uh... Oh. We think the hag is only going to get damaged by magic, right? Not like silvered or anything like that. Oh, that's true. You know, Sorry. Your, was your weapon magical, Meg? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, it's the fast, it's the fast loading. The fast loading crossbow. Plus one crossbow. Yeah, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Um, well, it was a magic, magic bolt. So. Okay, so then Chert will actually throw a hand axe at like one of the scrags near Hastar. Um, you know, attempting to um, give it like a disadvantage on its attack or it loss are, of the attack. Uh, they already have disadvantage, I think. Oh, they do. Oh, yeah, I'm they, sorry. You could remove an attack. Yeah, maybe removing an attack. Oh, sure. sounds good. Oh, yeah. 20. So another d6 on the damage. So four and plus the two on the. Mighty deed, so ten damage. Oh, very good. Sick.
that it for you? Yep, that's it. Sorry. All right. Hestar is going to try to cast uh, Mass Cure Wounds. Greater than or equal. This is a third level spell. Yeah. Greater than or equal to 13. And I'll lock it. No. Oh. Rip. Okay. Oh. Well, that's it for me then. Let's turn. Okay. Uh, I get that we're trying to push into this room. So. Yeah. Saber will try to use his mighty deeds to like break through the ranks, I guess. Could push a scrag backwards or something to create a gap. He's got a spear, so he can attack past and then try to open it up. Um, I mean, wait, do, do a NPCs get mighty deeds? Uh, oh, they don't get mighty deeds. Yeah, no. it's, it's, couldn't right. couldn't Hastar actually move out if he wants to? Oh, I guess, yeah. I. I could have moved through them to to push open and leave some space. No, no, nah, I I not think you're three on me. Four on you. A fighter. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Sable will just attack the damaged scrag instead. Okay. Fourteen to hit. Uh, that does it. Four. One damage. And then back out to clear some space. Cat is going to fill the gap. Try to use the Wand of Magic Missiles to shoot at the Hag. Mm -hmm. Hitting for two damage. And pull back. Gavdas will come up and try to cast Sleep. Because I think all of these beast men are probably low enough level. Is that just, they were last that, time. Does that not just put everyone in that near cube to sleep though? It's a level four, Including Laxlo and Shorak. Mm, that would depends be depends on their level. Kind of, okay. Are they we can can't higher than, than let's see what it's it less is. than level two. Level so. two or less. Mm. Elite beastmen units. Is elite Yeah. <laughs> I would hope the long range patrol is at least level two. Would we have a rough guess of that as adventurers, Eric? Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. Cool. What about Demora, though? Surely she's, she's going to. I'm a level three. I'm fine. Oh, you're level three. Okay, so I thought you're level yes. two. Okay. So I'm going to try in that. This zone. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep is what? Level one. Oh. Okay, hitting it on the nail. Sleeping like we in this range. Cool. Uh, and it's just as you want. All of the blue ones fall asleep. Excellent. That will also allow us to push through because they're on their backs now. Yeah, well done. Nice. And Gavdas cowardizes back. It's been, a while. <laughs> it's been a while since we used sleep. Wow. Yeah, fully. That's, that's it's just, it came up in the last fight and I remembered. So the, the beastmen go on Eric's turn, I guess, first. Yeah. Uh oh yeah, I didn't attack for them. I'm gonna make up yeah. for it for them having initiative this round. I think they're gonna absolutely use this time to seize uh seize the initiative and fuck up this hag. Uh can can someone can I volunteer two people to roll for Laxlar and Shorak? Uh they would be rolling and, and I know back man, they can't have it. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, if um, no, the they're gonna go on his turn. So, well, hold, oh. let's just do these two first, and then if, they, if we need additional support, we'll I'll dominate people. Okay. Uh, so uh, each of them have two attacks. Okay. Uh, and each of them are attacking with at plus four. Uh, they have advantage. I get a they have advantage because the I'll hag do... is blinded. How do you? Um... Oh, sorry, you're gonna do it. Okay. Oops. Oh, I didn't do 2d20. My bad. So then be for sure. 23. Yep. And 16. 16 misses. 
Uh, 12, and this is the second attack. Yeah. Okay. 12 and 11 miss. Okay. Uh, one hits uh, for d8 damage. Four. Okay, they're still alive. So, yeah. Uh, someone else gets to go in there. Okay. Uh, Pixis. Yeah. Uh, do you want to roll for Pixis? Pixis. Holy shit. These <laughs> rolls. Second attack. Second hits. attack will hit. For D6, you said I have, D8. D8. I have magic weapon. Do they have magic weapons? Yeah. The basement? They do. Okay. Seven damage. Okay. That, that will kill the heck. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay. Is my round next? That's going to finish you off. Heal it. But you can go in and, like, someone stop. heal it. No. Be no, like, no, no, she's no. still breathing, Theodore. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> I no, I think I think the, I think the I think the the beastmen would happily do this for revenge for charming their comrades. Yeah, yeah. yeah. do the do the other beastmen snap out of it at that moment? Well, they're asleep. They're asleep. Nah, dude, they're <laughs> they're fucking forty wings right. They're forty wings deep yeah. right now. They're chilling. Well, the, what about the the scrags? The scrags so, yeah, so yeah. Oh, the scrags. The scrags. Absolutely. Uh, I need to do a will save for. Or sorry, a, um, morale. A moral. Yeah, okay, I guess they're 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 in it they're here to die. Mm -hmm. Alright. They could be dangerous enough in themselves. Did you, Paul, you want to roll for Rackaw's second attack? Oh, you did you didn't roll the first one properly. Yeah, that so you've gotta put the cage one before the plus four. Otherwise it doesn't know. That hits? It's a D8, isn't it? Yep. Nice. Then Rago coming in to finish him off. What of those hit? Uh, for two and two. Okay. Damn. Oh, nice. A crit. Okay. Oh my god. Also, I was muted in talking. Oh, oh shit, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Paul, you... Yeah, okay. That's still, still a good hit. Okay. Isn't that tough? Alright, yeah, now I'll roll a... Uh... Alright, half star. Miss. Miss. Uh, that'd be Rago. Oh, they shouldn't have disadvantage. Uh, either of those, yeah. that's a miss. That's a miss for the claw, so I won't. I'll just take that one as a, a miss. And second, uh, second claw, that will hit them. For five. Was this the one that was uh, injured from the mighty deed? No. Okay. The one. Uh, that was the one that the one that missed all of their attacks was the one that was injured. Uh, this okay. one that hasn't been hit yet. Uh, to be clear, these guys got AC fifteen and they got fourteen hit points. And then lastly, they got a bite. Okay, and. Rock Claws are not doing good. That's my turn. Uh, okay, uh, so Theodore is going to come in here, go, ah, he killed the bag. <laughs> and feels her, her spellcasting ability slipping away as she fails her oath. Mm. Um, so instead she will uh, simply cast a uh, magic missile against uh, one of these, well, the injured Scrag, I guess. You might trick the gods if you kill the Scrag. Uh, D4 damage to the Scrag. Uh, another point of damage to the Scrag. What the hell? There you go. They be tough. 
they be tough, but are they tough enough? Casting aside the javelin, I do a spathari sword draw and plunge. It's actually really cool one legion though, but I'll talk about that. And uh, my mighty deed is to disable one of the uh, arm attacks on this injured one. Let's take it out. Nice. Yeah. So that's a 20... Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, so it's uh, D6 plus 3, 6, uh, 7. 8 damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that'll that bring it down. Really carrying the okay. uh, damage there. <laughs> that one's dead. Precision hit under the arm. <laughs> so there's one remaining scrag, right? Yep. Yes. 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 So Crowfeeder's going to slink on in, ready his crossbow. Um, and... He's got the fast, got and, the fast shooter. Yes. He's going to try and hit it, like, uh, right in the shoulder to try and disable one of the claw attacks. Sounds good. No. So ten total to hit. Uh, not enough. All right. Did you have your mighty? Oh, you did have a mighty. Yeah. yeah. Um, Chert will uh, rush up on this other scrag if he can get in there and swing that uh, warhammer, uh, maybe attempting to make it more vulnerable to damage, like giving people advantage on their damage dice. That's... No, nope, that's not going to happen, but a 21 will hit mm -hmm. and six damage. Can nice. Move out a little bit to let other people in. How how hurt is Hastar, by the way? I'm not seeing better days. I think I can. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as it doesn't get three hits off on me with the freaking max damage, like I should be fine. But okay, just in that's... case, you, you, you I'm just gonna, just I'm gonna <laughs> pull out this. Uh... Oh, I don't have a scroll of mass. Mass. Okay. Well. Uh... I will, I'm going to try to nullify it. I will cast Cure, cure Wounds on the, the Beastman that has like 12 HP that it just got hit with. Okay. That's nice. Really yep, that'll work. For 13 HP? Well, yeah, that's more than the damage they take. They're back to full. Nice. Okay. Sable's going to run in. Doesn't really have a magic weapon or anything, but maybe it's not needed. Plus 526. Okay. 10 to hit the scrag. Uh, one off. Okay. Backing up and making some room. Cat's going to come in, swing a mace at it. Plus three. And miss. Backing up. Gavdos is going to run in and try to cast Hold Monster on it. Succeed. Yay! I'm saying, get him! You get a save against that? Oh, that thing. Just... If it's level 9 or less, if it's less than level 9, they don't get a save. It does not get a save. Well. Yeah. So they just paralyzed focus. Yeah. Stop uh... it. Stop it. Oh, they're paralyzed. So you can just cut okay. off. The beastmen go first. Actually... Yeah. Yeah, the beastmen can just kill the kill the scrag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then Use the rope to tie up the enslaved ones, just in case. While there's one, two, three, four. Uh, that's Chert. Uh, Chert, a claw on the ground swipes at you. What the hell? We need to burn it all. Uh, yeah, missing. That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, 
Maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't failed my. <laughs> the hell? Hey. No, it's a claw from one of the scratches. Oh, I have to. Yeah. Carry on. Carry on. Theodora sits down dejected. <laughs> no, I think it could, could be the hang. <laughs> <laughs> She's still moving. She twitched. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's come back to us. What? Have all the beastmen gone? Uh, yeah, I assume they would all, we would, they would kill this crag, but yeah, you need fire to, to turn them off. Yeah. I guess Roclaw would probably just shove his torch into it. Probably makes mm -hmm. sense to I, kill this one. This, uh, it's time for Food Mender to get a kill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I mean, if it's just a case of, if it's just a, oh, Crow, yeah, you've got a torch anyway. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Maybe yeah. that's true for the hag too. Food Mender, how do you do it? <laughs> yeah, everybody encourage him. It's his first kill. <laughs> mm. We're holding it still for you. Come on. Yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah. like Tubal. He, he has advantage. <laughs> he has advantage. He can do it. Well, he's technically a townsfolk. I don't know if he's allowed to. Oh, yeah, I think this he can. A level one moment. Yeah. Mm. Wow. What does he even roll? Uh, do you have their stats, or do you need them? Um, just roll it. It's, it's gonna be a twenty. I know it. Just, just roll it. Yeah, just roll a d twenty yeah, with advantage, and it'll right. be fine. Oh wait. Well, it worked. I mean, yeah. That's more than enough. This is the initiation. So yeah. The so they're dead. Getting... Yeah. So they kill. They kill the. They kill the scrag. All right. Cool. Combat's yeah. over. Combat over. Uh, ag threat done. Taken care of. Let us loot. Okay. We tie up. We tie up the beastmen. Slap one of them awake. Yeah. See if they can. Make the, sure they're not the still lying. Yeah. I mean, I can. I'll help you out. The beastmen will help take help take care of the beastmen. And mm -hmm. As you guys yeah. loot the room. That should give us an extra bonus yeah. for the beastmen because we so, managed to do that without killing killing any of them, any mm -hmm. of the charmed ones. So the 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 important part of the night, the treasure, though. Uh, there mm -hmm. are uh, hey. there are two there are two very uh, brilliant blue glass eyes that detect vaguely as magical. Yeah, I wonder if this goes in the head. Yeah, Foodmunder will pull out that yeah. statue head and see if they fit. They definitely do. Okay. Yet, <laughs> uh, scattered, <laughs> then scattered idly around this lair, there is 3,106 ancient silver pennies, no. 483 uh, ancient gold solidi. Oh, and... 350 silver pieces and 139 gold pieces. Those are hmm. modern no uh, modern and, num, in the modern numismatic fashion. That'd be right. Uh, how many, uh, five silver? ancient octagonal platinum coins. Oh. Five. Yeah. Uh, for, for yeah. I'm it's not 500. <laughs> <laughs> it's five. Uh, there are, that are grounded in the floor near the cauldron. Uh, ooh, ooh. Furthermore, there is an amethyst and a peridot. Or per is it peridot or peridot? Peridot. Peridot, isn't it? I thought it was peridot. I'm okay. Peridot. Yeah, an amethyst and a peridot. Uh, gems. There are uh, two potions of healing in one of the southern uh, per. Uh, Perturbances, so like one of these little alcoves. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, um, there is a bag that detects magical. Oh, bag of holding, maybe. Or the bad version. Is the it fit, it fit for the hag to have an evil bag. The bag of eating. Yeah. Stick your hand in there, get it chomped off. <laughs> Okay. It's not a magic cauldron, is it, Eric? Uh, it it's a cauldron for purposes of brewing potions. Oh, oh, I think this so is might give us advantage. No, the cauldron itself is not magical. Are there any potions currently bubbling in there? Uh, no. Um, it looks like the potions were trying to dissolve the uh gems for magical purposes. Mm -hmm. sure. but 
you get them you before. Want drink what's in the cauldron? Yeah, Gavdos reaches his hands in and yeah. tries to pull out a big shiny diamond. Uh, there's no shiny diamond in there. Damn. Just acid. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, witches yeah. have that cauldron spell. Uh, that, uh, that's what I was basing it on. For sure. No, nothing. The, the gems are the, what pop out of it. Yeah. So Can we take a look inside the bag? Absolutely. Uh, looks like a small bag. Um, when you put your hand in it, uh, there, you keep your hand, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, food men would do that. <laughs> you pull out a, uh, a golden, uh, a golden and obsidian, uh, beetle shaped medallion. A definitely ring that's magical. Tell if that's magical. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So it's the medallion like... magical and not the bag? Well, no, the bag, is, the bag is magical too. Is there. You pull, <laughs> you put your hand back in again, and you will pull out a small uh, silken bag filled with gems. Uh, there are ten aquamarines. So it's like neat trick, do it again. <laughs> when I try to like stick my hand in further, can it like go up to like my elbow? <laughs> yes, yes it can. Okay. No end in sight. Sick. And that's all that comes out so far? Correct. Okay. Yeah, like hold upside down and shake it. <laughs> yeah, I think you can yeah. turn them inside out, right? And everything falls out. The yeah, universe you... just expands into the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh no. We didn't need that extra dimension. Show tables. Uh, I don't have too dimensions. Awesome. This is great. And what about um, down the water end of the thing? Does it look like, I don't know, it comes out underwater or something? Like? Uh, yeah, so on the back side of the lair, this is all water. Yeah. Those um, ogres don't swim up all confused like? Mm -hmm. No. They swim up, turn around, and go back the other way. No. Yeah, yeah. No, the ogres aren't in here. Um, I'm going to cast Detect Invisibility again, just in case there's anything else. Good shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, so. Burn it. But, uh, yeah, as you, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll look around and now uh, there's nothing else secretive. Or hidden or missing. I wonder if there's anything at the bottom of this, though. Yeah, I wonder why Thomas was telling us this would be a good base for us. Just because he wanted us to do his dirty work, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible. It's pretty inaccessible. Yeah. Two secret doors and a sunken entrance. And a swimming pretty pool. Good. I mean, if someone, if someone wants to tie a rope around me, I don't mind swimming down through here and seeing if I can see. I've got my, my shield has got light on it, so. Sure. I can hold yeah. the rope for you. I can see if there's any. I can go along this passage and see if there is any. I'm putting yeah. it eaten by trolls or something, but no. Nope. Uh, it's as quiet as the grave underwater there. Um, now you're gonna have to fight the water a little bit, but like not not roll, not not like worthy okay. of a roll. But uh, okay. yes, uh, the water as you deep uh, goes below it will does connect into this room. Like a, like a little underground. Yeah, exactly. Or underwater. Okay. Oops. Mm. Uh, we've got half an hour. There's the tunnel south of the mist room, or the tunnel coming off this fungal room going north. That's about the only unexplored areas left down here. Oh, also... Oh, there's this one like there's... by the rat cave, I think. Yeah, and there's also um, this door that was protected by a wall of force that we never went into. I could dispel that wall of force. What are the uh, are the, are the, are the beasts of a long long range cavern patrol? Are they is there like we, our work here is done? We're going back. Yeah, they... I think they. Yeah, would totally. Take back their... Yeah, they gotta yeah. take back their yeah. companions. Yeah. Look, you worry. Um, yeah, you you take care of what you care all. about. You go take care of the money and find all your money, and we'll take care about our people. So. Yeah, and Gavdos lays it on really thick. Like, well, 
We're so glad that we could free you from this hag threat and free all of your Beastman friends and work together on a shared goal like this. Yeah, and we would fight yeah. together, yeah. isn't it? Really we fight great? <laughs> As yeah, you... says it less sarcastically, like we look forward to you joining our aid yeah. against the Priskins on the full moon. Yeah, yeah, you all Crow fight well. Crowfeeder will go so far as to take the head of the hag, which he will cut off, hold by the hair, hold it to toward one of the beastmen and say, you know, present this to your mother. Gifts of the Bulgarians. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, cool. Oh, what happened to the statue when you put the, the magic glass eyes in it? Nothing. Oh, we didn't do that yet. I haven't done yeah. it. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, Tarsus. Tarsus. I was worried it would, like, explode or send me to hell. <laughs> Anytime you need to kill True. a hag, you just let us know. I reckon it's gotta be, you have the whole statue or something, right? Oh, yeah. Well, can we oh, ask the these men, hey, if you've then, seen... Sorry. What were you asking? Egg. Oh. Oh, I was just going to say, did we clarify that the beastmen haven't seen any of the rest of the statue? Uh, correct. But uh, also, I was remiss because, yes, in that, in that tunnel and into the, the path that you swam down, you should definitely find bits of the statue. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, so well, that's I'll, my bad. I'll, I'll pull them up. It's not as many bit, bits. Yeah. Statues, there, there is. I love statues. Character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is the three foot tall um, middle torso section showing her upper torso with arms folded across her chest. That's definitely for this plinth uh, over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, on that, on that um, torso is a pearl and copper necklace draped around their neck. Oh yeah. Oh. You can ma magical. It, it, no, it doesn't seem magical. It, but it's okay. not. It's like it's it, it's adorned onto the statue. It's not a part of the statue. Right. If you were so inclined. Do, can we spend we this last half an hour <laughs> trying to put together the statue? Yeah, I think we should try and see if we can find the other parts of the statue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The legs are yeah. still there, right? Correct. We're just missing. No, no, the arms are you, you have over. you have the whole statue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have the, let's go and put it together. That's yeah. Really fun. Yeah. Let's try that. Yeah. It's like the first time we've ever had all the statue pieces. Are you all gonna go drown? Uh, going that way, or are you gonna go back? No, I feel like we'll go back. Okay. Back the well, regular, regular are you bringing? Are we? Do we have to play slot Tetris for everything? Probably. Oh. I think. Don't think that's that. I've got. I've got floating disc if it helps. For sure. But like obviously the torso is gonna be pretty heavy. I mean, I will, I will see if I can cast floating disc and put put it on the. Uh... Well, let's just start putting small things into the bag until it won't accept anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bag. Oh yeah. Put all the ancient yes. coinage all and stuff. Coins. Yeah. Well, but, but uh, this, are we sure this isn't like a bag of eating? Or, you know, it's gonna consume all our. Well, it's well what if you look at magic, it in my hand. Tech magic. If I cast detect magic on it, can I can I determine whether yeah. it's cursed or anything? No. Okay, let's say I you, you wouldn't be able to determine it would it would it would a bag of let's, devouring would show up as a bag of holding. But we pulled stuff. Let, out let's of start it. with the but regular you did pull stuff out then. of it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Which funny. a bag of devouring does not let you pull stuff out of. Yeah. Yeah. This is like be not afraid. But detect magic would also reveal the maximum size, or you could just pack it up and see yeah, what yeah. happens. The problem oh, though is that oh, once oh. you find out, then everything I, explodes out yeah. of it like a. Diablo 2 boss, and then you have to go spend time putting it all back in. <laughs> I just rolled to tech magic, yeah. I hit, my, hit, hit the check. Okay, great. Yeah, this is a bag of holding. Uh, pack 10, or 10 slots. Nice. Okay. Very sick. And it's already filled with... It had two things in it. It had that scarab, and it had that uh, slot of full of gems. Okay, so like that's the scarab so takes a slot. Yeah. Oh, and just to check that the hag didn't have anything on her, did she? Oh, uh, no, that's re a really great question. Wait, this <laughs> wasn't the hag's loot. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't have anything on them. It's just hanging out. Okay. okay. Just vibing. Yeah. Apparently. It. Yeah, it's a lot of slots, guys. It's the ancient. We... It's the three thousand ancient silver that makes it tricky. Would the beastmen carry this back? No, they're probably too busy carrying their. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No. 
A, fl a floating disc will give us 20 slots. It's about 77 slots. Because it's am. ancient silver, so it's 50. Well, then slot. I think we have it because we can drop some torches and things like that. And uh, <laughs> the bag of holding has eight slots. Yeah. If we uh, put, if, if Theodora wants to take the statue head and eyes and just sort of swim them through, just sort of. I thought, uh, there were I thought there were trolls in this. Fedora says, "Aren't they? Are they not trolls in this game?" Yeah. Oh, sorry, I don't, I don't yeah. know if I can swim through this fast, fast running stream as well. Oh, I thought you just did. Oh, then no, never I think mind. I just no, but I had a rope attached to me. That's the. Oh. We just have to go back. We can just take the time to go back. Yeah, I, I managed to cast floating disc, so we have a floating disc. We've got twenty slots on the floating gotcha. disc. Gotcha. I think we have, have slots. I have ten slots on Demora. Okay. So, uh, and crow feeders got quite a few. I can have three slots. Four the slots. ancient gold, we can fill the bag of holding with. Five slots. Yeah, the ancient gold will fit in the bag just fine. Mm -hmm. I think that's quite easy. About six slots. Just put your slots in the chat, I guess. Oh, okay. So it's it's sixty two slots for the ancient pennies. Mm -hmm. What is your strength stat, right? Yeah. Thirty nine. Thirty-five. And let's all add one for our coin slots that we always forget. Our bonus coin. Forty-four. Mm-hmm. Fifty. Yeah, I totally forgot to add that 66. one. Too. It's actually twenty one if I include my bonus. That's seventy. I had two for mine, I forgot. Seventy something slots. I think that's that's enough. Well, it's 77 just for the coins, but I mean, we don't need to bring all that silver. We don't, we don't need to bring all the ancient pennies first, just do everything else. Yeah, we can need the silver pen. Yeah, silver, the silver pieces. Okay. We, well, we don't good? we have enough room because of the, the bag? Yeah, the, the bag is carrying all of the ancient gold. That fits perfect. So then it's just everything else. 63, and then we've got gems can all go together. 64, potions That's of close. healing, 66. The two necklaces. No, the one. The glass eyes are in the statue. Yeah, you can put them in there. Uh... It's about 70, not counting the bag that's already full of gold. You got the fine leather boot also? No. It's one slot, though. So. so magical, though, I think. Somebody put them on. Well, they yes. still count as a slot. Oh. That's a yeah, we got enough. We got about 93 total. Oh, I counted... The bag, we got 83 total. We have enough. So we all just split it together. And we carry the okay. statue in our hands. Perfect. Okay. Away we go. Right. Uh, oh, while we are counting that, I would have wanted to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Jeez, okay. well, you hate right. them and you can't get rid of them, right, Ed? Somebody else has to get rid of it. Well, yeah. Uh, that's good enough. Only three short. Okay. Your your rope or your well at least one of your ropes with the spikes and stuff is still there? Yeah. I still got the magic rope, so yep. Okay. Cool. cool. We take time. Cross over. Okay. Yep. And then up and down to the 
Yeah. And Garda says, beware fish. Uh, beware water trolls. Teach a man to fish. And we'll Can't put up stone twice. skin. Okay. Now, what if this statue teleports us somewhere? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you got the eyes in it, don't you? What happened? You're I'll take out one eye. Right? I'll take out one <laughs> eye and then assemble it and then yeah. put in the last eye last. Well, if you use the two eyes together and it does activate, we will lose the eyes. Right? Okay. Yeah, so I mean, they might be, they yeah. might be coming back from this. No, are, um, are these eyes sortion eyes? No. They are definitely not. I need or to get eyes. Cool. Which... Let's just do it. No, they are elegant glass, which is something you haven't seen before. Interesting. I, think I, we, I mean, we, you've seen elegant glass we, before. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you know what I meant. In the context of of Owen to a to a statuette. Let's all stand, stand around it so we get teleported together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but I think anyone who doesn't who doesn't want to, if anyone who doesn't want to, can leave the room now. But so I'm, I'm, yeah, Theodora will go for it. Yes. Right. So on the beach is a five foot square plinth. Uh, and there's a three foot section of feet and lower, you know, legs, Ozymandias style, with an iron rod somewhat bent, extending another seven feet from the center of the plinth. So this is where you all help each other putting on the, the bits, uh, yeah, including yeah. the eyes of the statue. Yes, and uh, as soon as it's assembled, um, it will uh, it will give out a relaxing um, sigh. Oh. Ah. To see again in Mithric. Greetings. Strangers. Yeah. In Greetings. Mithric. Yeah. Salve. What? You? What year is it? Do they, do they look corporeal? Like, no, they're not corporeal. The, the, statue is, the statue is completely inanimate, but like. Clearly, there's like a disembodied voice talking from it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, uh, I would say it's feminine, um, tired. Mm -hmm. 2993. How long have you been asleep? 2993. Did you say 2993? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 29. It's a future, baby. Uh, they're like, there's a very, very, very long pause. Uh, what are you, you're, they look around, you, you clearly do not, what, what of Thoth? You know of Thoth, tell me, uh, <laughs> tell I, me Thoth's yeah. real. They're, yeah, no, they're oh, cool. still worshipped? Uh, but, not so much. Some, somewhat, yeah. We have a friend that likes them. Somewhat. <laughs> first things Mithrand, first. Said, what about Mithrandir? Yeah, she's like, what, what about Mithrandir? What about the colleges? What about the... You know, and the, there's... Running first tell us who you are. Uh, ah. We pray. can explain everything. Forgive me. My name is Nertet Indra. I priestess of Thoth. Oh. Wow. For your, yeah. Oh man, Cavalios is going to be so happy to come back and talk to you. <laughs> yeah. How? How did you get your... in your current state? Oh. Um. Didn't we get a note to this person from the library? That was Nefertat, wasn't it? I think that was Nefertet. Is that what you just said? No, I said Nertet Indra. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Mm. For your beneficence of re recompiling my stone form, please accept this blessing of Thoth. And you all oh. get luck if you don't have it. If you do have luck already, uh, you will be cured of all uh, curses and poisons. Oh, does no. Hastor have luck? Is he, he's no. killed, he's, he's dead, is he? Oh, oh, no! No, I use my luck. Oh. Do you like the oh, view no. here? 
we could uh, offer to so, carry you to our manor. Yeah. Well, hey, good news for you, buddy. Uh, Nortet Indra is willing to encant the Blessing of Thoth three times per day. So, mm. so if you want to get recover, if you want to get your cure, uh, cured as well, here's your shot. It's, a, it's like, are you have... familiar with this curse? It's a, does no. it have any other negative side effects on me? <laughs> I'm a dwarf, if it wasn't clear. <laughs> it's, uh, no. have... she's, oh, she would say she'll say she's not familiar with the curse, but she's familiar with the um, you know, some kind of like hermetic, the right path of ways of destiny, and sees that this is a uh, a thread not belonging to you kind of thing, and you know, thought the snipper of curses and yeah. threads, right? So it's something like that. That's what she would say. Mm -hmm. sure um, you can snip my thread. Yeah, but she's she's a very inquisitive. Uh, about this and um, so she get the impression so she's uh, from about a thousand years ago so after the uh, fall mm. okay um, which she blames on set oh um, we hate set oh well we're gonna be your best yeah. friends because we're at war with the setites ah yeah my people. Okay, good. Uh, she's like, in many ways, it saddens me that Set has not been completely extirpated from this planet, you know, <laughs> or like, you know, from this world for, uh, you know, but uh, it, it does it does bring a smile to my stony face for to know that there perhaps are still you, chosen warriors. Perhaps you would like to come to our manor and we can discuss tactics for eliminating them completely. I'm literally a statue. I mean, we would still like your consent to move you from this the plinth's current location. Thoth does not think that's a good idea. Mm. You still commune with Thoth? Yes. Interesting. In my state, Thoth is... I am myself and Thoth. Uh, we should, so, sorry. Ah, sorry, you're... Pastor, you don't know what she is when doing this, but like clearly this per this is like not necromancy. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like the animated skull thing that you fought, where like this is a soul that's like willingly here vibing, doing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like this is obviously, yeah. yeah. And th this is obviously, here. yeah. This is some like crazy high level type of ritualized thing of, you know, thoth and magic that nobody practices anymore but as a priest i think you can ascertain more or less that this is like oh this is definitely some sort of like thothian ritual preservation you know she willingly put herself into this hey hastar have a ch chat with indra yeah. about uh making a mistral behave like you're out here doing good right <laughs> Yeah, I think I think Mistral's a pretty pretty one note and wants to wipe out genocide all the goblins. Uh, we mm. yeah, as mentioned, we also wish to wipe out Set, but we need the wisdom and knowledge of Thoth to be able to do so. Um, we many Thothian mysteries still abound. Would you be interested in? Cartographic mysteries. Yes. Also, yeah, that says with like point zero yeah. zero one milliseconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I put my I put my finger to Gabdo's mouth and say, "Remember, follow the breath of Thoth." That's like, literally what I was going to ask about, but then she oh, jumped, that one, like, yeah. gone even further. Yeah, yeah, that that's the first one that came to mind was the breath yeah. of Thoth. We know that. <laughs> the positions of statues arms and the breath of thoth and many such mysteries exist we wish to know everything to glory thoth yeah of course oh, oh wait no, yeah no, no, no. thoth uh, yeah there i i you do not have to hide, you you do not have to hide your true desires they are revealed to me as they are revealed to Thoth. This was intended for him, by him. Amazing. He works. He works through you. Cabellios is going to be so jealous. 
Crowfeeder will put his like set. He'll hide his sh set shield behind him. Yeah. <laughs> Except for that one. <laughs> Fuck that one. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he has no idea what she's been saying this whole time, so he's just kind of yeah. standing there. Oh, totally. Yeah, they're they're just hanging out, speaking Mithric. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, I forgot that those set shields. Crowfeeder is so bored. <laughs> oh. Stand behind her. Stand behind her. Waving you away. Blocking okay. You. Um. Well, they'll be able to give you uh maps for the form for the forms and set and stuff because they wish to see them demised, especially oh. if you especially if they find out they're still kicking here. Yeah. Yeah, but, they're uh, especially they're, dangerous where they yeah. keep all their treasure. Make sure to mark that. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah. you you already talked to that. You're. I mean, you already asked about you know that their mysteries of their treasury more or less. You know about the mysteries of their oracle. Excuse me, the oracle. Of Thoth, um, because you followed his breath. Uh, there's not really that we, many Thothian mysteries. We haven't followed that. his breath yet. We don't know how to. No, achieve. we just yeah, we just know. Right. We found it, and we didn't approach it because the gas was overwhelming. Right. She might be able to tell us about the. What do you know about the helpers? Guardians? The the statues or the the guardians. No, the helpers. I don't know what they look like. They may be called something different. They are. They were nine feet tall. Oh, horns on heads. Oh, the statues. With black uh, No, not. And helmets. When you say Vermont, no, Rudishva. Like... Oh. Oh, the dancers. <clears throat> no. Rudishva. The helpers. We know of them. The old mm -hmm. ones. Oh, they are the helpers. Yes, the old ones. Uh, they're mad. I don't know very yeah. much. One of them runs the arena. There's not many Aye. left. They flay people. One tried to kill us repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we seek access to their through their doors and to their realms, but we do not have the correct uh, authorization. Oh, yeah. They require color-coded... Mm -hmm cards yes we require color-coded cards there is a we'll roost see, uh, uh oh. there is there is a temple there's a oh. temple in in the, the valley yes oh, yeah. we've been there. We we already made and you have the cards no no tell it tell us more <laughs> what cards oh huh. no we missed something the thought yeah We know that they priests may have of been the stolen yeah. by the time we got there. Hmm. Disappointing. Where where were they inside? In the secure chambers. Ah, uh, they're um, probably in the chest. Yeah, we don't know how to yeah. access the uh, secure chamber. How, how do we get yes. past the, the gold muscle guardian baboon with four arms and a golden spear? Oh you have to be a priest of Thoth, I guess. But yeah, they didn't really think this through the whole plan. But they were like, "This is this is where they knew that there some are are kept." Can, uh, can you ordain tell a you priest, Cabalios? A eh? yeah, yeah. ordain a priest. Can you ordain a new priest of thought. Can, can I ask? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, good idea. Can I ask if uh, what was the relationship between the uh, the between the old ones and the the priests of Foth back in back when you were uh, alive? Or did you have a good relationship with them? Amicable. Or? Amicable, okay. And you work together to build mm. things, or? I admit, we sought to more imitate their their magics and their knowledge. They shared with us what they could. You understand much, much of their information and gifts were lost before Thoth even blessed this place. And they were, they were here when you, you arrived? Did they... Correct. Did they come from underground? No. They they arrived through the beacon, through Thoth's flaming chariot. If you need key, yeah. If you need the key cards. Yeah. If the doors yes. is what you seek, you must access the beacon. I, I, oh, do you, do you have Ankh keys? Do, the, yes. do silver Ankh keys still exist? Yes. You require yeah. those. Did you place in the obelisks, correct? Yes. And they opened the beacon. 
Correct. Is it dangerous inside? I, it, it wasn't at my time. Do we need the keys to get inside or only the un unks? Good point. Shouldn't, shouldn't need keys. Oh. And what is inside? Information that you seek. Mm. One of the obelisks was damaged. The the keyhole for the Ankh is still there, but if this disrupts the uh, the magic that opens it, then the doors to the then the then the path to the beacon should still be intact. Mm. Who's okay. the governor of Ardenvul? Us, if we play our cards right. Uh, the green lady. A green lady. A Basilian. Well, mm. it depends. It depends. It depends who you ask, my lady. Some people would say the dragon. Dragon. Mm. The dragon that that controls the surface. Oh yeah, Crasted Crast Crasted Crast Crast Oryx. Was Crast um, around when you were here? No, but I knew their mother. Hmm. They were but oh. a wormling. Interesting. Okay. Maybe that's did, the did their mother wear Isadora. You know of Yisandrasil? We have found her manor. And know that there is a I I mean I guess the priestess would be able to tell this from us, but yeah, it's like we we know that there is a body of a dead dragon there. The remains of a dragon. That's news to her. Oh, well, oops. Hopefully Crass doesn't find <laughs> out we ratted that out. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, a, yeah. just a heads up that we have about seven minutes. Yeah. 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 So we get to, we Sorry, just, yeah. You're, like, I mean, you're basically talking to like the high, like a high priestess of Thoth uh, from yeah. forever ago. So like yeah. they, they kind of know a bunch of information, but also they're like really shocked about the current state of the world. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we know she doesn't want to could... come to them. Oh, yeah. Go. Sorry, is it possible we could get a, a offline session question that this would be condensed into? Yeah, sure, that works for me. About to run out of yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask but, uh, one last question to do with Laura? Totally. Does she, has she, these blessings? Would she, would she be able to? Um, I, I failed in in, a, in in an oath recently, and I need to atone for it. Can you? Is there anything you can do about that? Can you help me atone? Oh yeah, and so it was. Yeah, you're atoned. Absolutely. Oh. This is like exactly like the kind of thing that this this thing could do for you. For sure. I forgot. Yeah. Totally. Thanks. My my next my next oath now you will are be, forgiven. Uh, my next oath will be uh, in honor of uh, Thoth, my lady. Uh, uh she says uh then her parting words for for the night would be um would actually be words of warning. And beware that there are other of my kind who have sub um submitted themselves as heads of Thoth. During my time, you know, she was all, too, I was all too aware of the power, the insidious nature of Set. I'm afraid that through time, through conflict, through Set's influence, you cannot trust everything you hear from statues. Mm. You can trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone pauses, like, hmm. <laughs> Everyone received. I mean, can she give us no. another like, look? The, look what I can what do. Was your, what <laughs> was your what relation with Nefret and Hellas? Yeah, I do not know these people. They were old. those are old. Oh, I pray they have. Um, can she yeah, tell us yeah, this old? offline? Yeah, several yeah, hundred yeah, years. Yeah, but were... you know, maybe she could just tell us how to uh, get through the Temple of Thoth. Before we no, can. let's go. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. don't have time. <laughs> We don't have time. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. okay. We just have to get back to the basement area, though. That's the yeah. Yeah. We go back up. And this it's way. true. We're in a pretty controlled area. And we hiss at the la the wizards so they don't One. fight us. In yes. Five yeah. Minutes. Yeah. Fast. Uh, fast travel roll. Just don't. Uh, Eric doesn't roll a six on the encounter roll challenge. Uh, impossible. You always. 
We're good. <laughs> you always roll a six. Right? It is it is frankly uncanny how many times that has come mm -hmm. up. Uh, we're good. You can make it back just fine. I rolled. I rolled. Yeah. I I, I rolled. Okay. Yeah. Well, when we're fast traveling, I don't really mind rolling the encounter rolls in public like yeah. that. But yeah. um. So. Okay. Yeah. You make it back. Uh, let's talk about experience. Uh, we are. You're looking at a total grand gold recover situation of thirteen thousand. Uh, with some combat experience, uh, also uh, put in that X final XP share for everybody is sixteen thirteen, and uh, I mean the gold share you're gonna need to do some stuff because you actually have coinage and stuff. So I'm not sure about giving you a full yeah. coin share, but XP for the night, including treasure XP, is sixteen thirteen per player. And that, that makes... treasure is including like the bone room, etc. Yeah, so exactly. So the um you would half that for uh com uh sorry, for adventurers and townsfolk. Yeah. So they definitely level up this year or this today. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Um the only other thing I would point out is that the that am that jeweled amulet with the ruby and stuff like that. Now that uh it was before uh looking upon closer inspection it was magical it was a hag's eye uh but not anymore it's a nerd mm. so it's just oh, was that how she knew she were coming yeah interesting mm. but uh but yeah did we want to end the session here with the beastmen or did y'all want to try to get back to Costerwick? We we gotta teleport back to sell off the stuff. Yeah, yeah. We can get to our room, to our rug as a safe travel. I'd say. Oh, totally. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're back in Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. And we'll we'll update gold later once Eric figures it yeah. out. Mm -hmm. No, it's oh, it's man. up it's up for you all to to do yeah, that yeah, unless yeah. you want me to like yeah. strip out the. Because like, you okay. have you have ancient coins and stuff like that, they need to get split up and all that kind of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think the I think usually we just drop the orthogonal ones in the bank, um, and then sell off everything else, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, like the silent factor can just tot up. Yeah, they they do their their cut of it. Work, right? right. Then here you go, eighteen fifty nine per player. <laughs> let's just let's just fucking. <laughs> all right, there you go. Okay. If you're gonna lick, uh, use the banks and split it around, there you go. Yeah, but I, th I thought done. that was mainly Goblin yeah. Town that made it tricky. Yeah. All right. Uh, what was the Italian worth? Just sorry. What was worth? The magic gold obsidian beetle medallion. That's a magic item. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed yeah, that. let's do some. Uh... My bad. Last Guys, minute I'm identifying. So close to level two. Corrals. I forgot uh, that I got XP for that. So true. Can somebody tot up how many magic items and I'll just try to cast as many as I can? What, was that just one? Or I think just it's one, just the bag of holding which you identified. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, the beetle medallion. Yeah. And then the blue glass eyes are for that. The, the boots weren't magical and the heavy gold necklace with ruby wasn't magical. Okay. Well, I cast two anyway, so I just double check the boots. Okay. Uh, you have a scarab of protection. The scarab, the way the scarab of protection works, is that it can eat a disintegrate, or something that would instantly kill you, if you were like below the level and stuff like that. Before it would take one for the team. Does that include a mummy. Mummy rot isn't an instant kill, I don't think. No, it. Well, this, yeah. is, it this is specifically like baleful magics, curses, and the things oh, like that. Oh, it will. Like it will. Not a word. Kill later yeah. rest. Like, that kind of stuff. Like yeah, exactly. Mm. If like later rest okay. was used on a living person, I don't know mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, so like very powerful spells. Um, these things are. This is a very powerful, wondrous item, but it's uh, it is consumed in the process of mm -hmm. saving you. Uh, it takes a slot.
But well done. Oh, we lived. Yeah, we did. You, we did the you hag. hag. Yeah, you bagged a hag. Good job. She wasn't so bad. She got ganked yeah. by a load of beastmen in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she didn't go down very. Uh... Well, I don't know. You all did really good, mighty deeds and good effort. Yeah, uh, Hastar. Have... I think Hastar is also a very good MVP. Maybe I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to tie down Kabaleo so he doesn't run off here. Try to talk to the yeah. statue by himself. Yeah. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Okay. I mean.